Yeah. We got to get you a commercial popping. For, I, gotta I know. Sure. I need to do a commercial. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Let's Get Social Live. We are so excited to be here with you all today. And we're going to be completing our last dress in our beginner friendly PDF series. So hang in there. I'm going to do an introduction with my guest in one second. So just hang in there. We're going to let a couple people hop in and we're going to do this. We're going to get this pop in. Turn my, turn my tunes down. Yeah. I don't know what's happening with my TikTok. He wasn't showing no. The electronic, sometimes they, sometimes they want you to. Okay, three, two, one. Let's see. What do we got going on? Okay, there we go. I'm on TikTok. I had a play. Hey, Kay. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Arva. Hi, Demps. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So again, I'm going to restart our intro. Welcome to Let's Get Social Friday So Along. Hi, Teresa. We are so excited to be here with you today. Why? Because we are going to do our fourth and final dress in our beginner friendly PDF series. So my goal during this week is to really introduce you or reintroduce you to the world of sewing with PDF patterns. Why? Because we have a lot of independent sewists that are out here doing their thing and we want to be able to support them. And sewing with PDF patterns can be a little bit intimidating in the beginning, but once you get used to it, it is something that you will grow to like and potentially love and even more so because the patterns are totally popping so if for no other reason you will love the pattern so anyway i am so excited also because guess what i have a co-host with me um and so i'm gonna let my co-host introduce herself so <laughs> carmen hi my name's carmen i'm new here what's good <laughs> Hey y'all, what's going on? LaShawn, first of all, thanks for having me on your show. It's so interesting being like a guest. I love being a guest because you know I get to follow your lead. So it's, it's good to be back. Two weekends in a two weekends in a row. But today I'm more prepared, I feel like. Yeah, well, today is good. Look, the best the, my favorite thing about, you know, uh Black Sewing Network and Sewing On Let's Get Social Fridays is like, look, we are all in this together. We are not here to be perfect. We're here to show you what it looks like. We're here to, if we have challenges, which we do from time to time, we're here to work through them because the bottom line is that if we have it on live, you are likely going to have it at home. And so we are going to be, you know, working through it together. But I'm also excited because we're going to be sewing another amazing, amazing, amazing pattern. And yes, so we, go, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Chloe. No, I was about to say, yeah, it's a real cute pattern. Yeah, this is super cute. So it is the Serena twist dress. And so if you follow me on the social platforms, you likely have seen this dress. I was part of the testing crew. So this pattern is was done by Lindsay. Lindsay is the stitch fits, I think, on all platforms. I think on social, I mean, yeah. on TikTok, Instagram, I think Facebook and YouTube. But her pattern company is called Stay Stitch Pattern Co. And so they have put out this uh, pattern called the Serena Twist Dress. It is a pattern that is, when I tell you it's beginner friendly, there's, and I put this out there, there's no zippers, there's no buttons, there is, I put no interfacing, a very little interfacing, minor, minute amount of interfacing, and it's all dress, dress that you are definitely going to want to wear. I, I loved it when I, when I did the pattern testing, and I love it even more. Now, I'm really excited about it. So... Um, Carmen, I don't know if you, I'm going to turn it over to you so you can talk a little bit about your fabric. You could talk about your sewing machine. Um, and then I'll talk about mine and we'll get into it. Sure. So I, um, intended to use, I wanted to use a metallic. So that's what you see on my, uh, dress back there. Cause I thought I could like upcycle a previous dress, but I, I've quickly discovered that, um, I couldn't, but, uh, this is great. A great cocktail dress for like, if you're going to a party, like if you're going to DC Frocktails next week, this will be an exceptional option for that. Um, but because I'm on a fabric and pattern fast for the month, uh, I had to opt for something in my stash. So this is going to be what I call a wearable muslin, right? So this is fabric that I had 
for the intent to use as a, like a knit muslin um, for quite some time. Um, it is like a cotton knit, I would say. It feels almost like a sweater knit almost. Not the best quality, but it will get the effect in terms of me being able to determine if it has a good fit. So it's one, it's two, one, two way stretch, uh, black and white. So it kind of matches the dress I already have there on my uh, my dress form. So I've been using a lot of black and white lately. I don't know. The show might be rubbing off on me a yes. little bit. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I'll be using, so I won't be using my serger. Uh, we're using my Pro Project Runway limited edition brother machine. Um, especially because uh, this is uh, this pattern uses a three eighths of a seam allowance. So I feel like with a serger, you got you 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 just got to be really sure. So I I feel like I can sort of work through any challenges that I potentially may have, which I don't foresee happening with this pattern. But I just to be on the safe side, I am using my regular my sewing machine lightning bolt or a zigzag stitch and um just based upon the directions i anticipate this should be a quick sew and i think you are correct yeah so i'm going to be using a light car first of all let me just say light carmen i am also doing the challenge i'm not buying any fabrics i'm not buying any patterns i'm not buying anything and i'm so proud of myself because today is the 26th day and i have not stepped foot in joanne's or any other fabric store hey now Right. I have not stepped foot in any online stores. I have not bought a thing. And I and my stash, I'm feeling like it's going down. Okay, maybe not going down, but it's it's less than it was. Right, it's less. Before. Like we're so, using it. Right. Yes. I'm using the stash. Otherwise, you know, I would have bought something else. So anyway, I am using this like it's a faux suede. It has it's a two way stretch. Yeah, two way stretch. And I'm excited about using this fabric. So, and then I'm using my Bernina sewing machine, also not using the serger today. Um, so, and again, I made this as a part of the, I was a part of the testing group. So it, I believe that it's going to be also a quick sew as well. So hello, everybody that is joining on TikTok. I appreciate that you're here. Thank you so much. Hi, Risha, Susie. Welcome. Let me see. Miracles. Peach, welcome. Hi, Deborah. Welcome to everybody. Okay, so we are going to get started. So step one tells us to remember I said there's I said there's I lied a little bit. I said there's no interfacing, but there is a very little bit of interfacing. Um, or you can use a, a stay tape, and you are basically taking your piece. It is your uh front skirt piece, your front dress piece. And you are basically either using stay tape or you're using interfacing that can go on knit. And I use interfacing and you are putting a thin strip all the way around the wrong side of this, the top of the fabric. And so that's what you're seeing here you are seeing that interfacing along the top of the inside or the wrong side of that fabric. Thank you, Deborah, for all the likes. I appreciate you. The more you like on TikTok, the more it pushes the live out and reminds everybody that we are here today sewing our one of our the most cutest dress. So that's the first step. You are going to put that interfacing around the top of your front dress piece. Okay. The other thing oh, that makes this dress so easy or simple is that you are literally cutting your fabric on the fold. It's a front piece, it's a back piece, and it is the twist pieces. So the front and the back pieces are back pieces cut on the fold. Sorry, I'm trying to wind my bob and I'm not as prepared as I would like to be, but I'm listening. Oh, oh you're doing great. I was, I, I wanted to pause and see if you were going, if you had something that you wanted to contribute. Let's no, I see. think you're doing a great job. Sorry, y'all, for the noise. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle. Thank you for dropping in. Um, and so for those, again, that might be joining us, we are on, both of us are on multiple platforms. So we are streaming on TikTok, we're streaming on Facebook, and we are streaming on YouTube today. Um, and so we, again, we are happy to have all of you here. It's a beautiful, I don't know about where you are, but here on the East Coast, it was 73 degrees today. So that is not 
January weather, but we will take it. We will not complain about it. And so for that reason, people might be out and about in the community and getting their best life right now. It's a Friday. Why wouldn't you? Um, so anyway, there's that. So we appreciate you that you're here with us. Absolutely. Um, hi, Monica. I yeah. love company. I love yes. a good company. Why so, LaShawn, where do you plan on wearing this dress to? You know what? I So, I'm going to DC Frocktails. So, if you see me, please, please introduce yourself. If I see you, I'm going to introduce myself. Um, but I think I'm going to be wearing it to DC Frocktails, which is why I decided to do this faux velvet, just to level up a little bit. I'm going to have to accessorize. I want to just... So, we're going to see. I really love the back out, you know... Uh, part of it, but that is the plan. If you go into DC Frocktails, I wish we had like a little what's a DC emoji? I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, if you go the American to flag, Frocktails, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, it's it's a cap. Hold on, it's, it's a capital right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a capital. Ah, yes, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a my apartment, girl. If you go to DC Frocktails, drop something in the chat. Let us know where you're gonna be. Uh, Arva said it is. Raining in Louisiana. Rochelle said it's 85 in Florida. I'll take it. Hi, Catrice. Hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, um, y'all. Yeah. Cherry, cherry blossoms. All right, drop some cherry. Do they have a cherry emoji? Is that a thing? Oh, yeah. I don't think. I think they do. If they have a cherry emoji, drop that. Let us know if you're going to DC Fractales. And if they don't have a cherry uh, emoji, let us know that too. They do. They do. They do. Y'all drop the cherry. Drop the cherries. Yes. Yes. So let me see. Yes, this is it's not this is not a faux leather. This one is actually a faux suede that I'm working with today. And I still do owe you all final pictures of the skirt that I made. Um let me just pull it out over here so you can see it doesn't have my dress form does not have a curve on, but the skirt is here, it's done. I made two. As you all know, I made one with the higher slit and then one with the lower slit. So I'm just putting it behind me so y'all can see that I did finish it. It's been done all week. I did it that Saturday. I just have to take pictures in it. Okay, so the next step that we're going to do is we are actually going to be putting darts in this pattern. And let's talk about the darts a little bit. Yeah. Um, because they're going to look maybe a little bit different than you, you're used to seeing on the commercial patterns. And so when you are looking at your pattern, I'm going to hold this close for both uh, our TikTok, our Facebook, our YouTube, you're gonna see that you have like a little area where you could cut a notch. And so what you're basically doing is you're gonna cut that little notch in your fabric and then you are going to be folding, oh, wrong way. You're gonna be folding right sides together, matching up those little two um, notches, those two little slits, but you'll be doing this with your fabric, not with your, uh, pattern piece I'm just showing you with the pattern piece so you'll match those up and then you are literally going to stitch from the edge of where that little notches uh, match up all the way to like a little triangle it's a very small a very little um so how far are the, the notches away from each other would you say that the notches are about two inches away from each other I would say that they are two and a half, like two and a half inches away from each other. I would say that they are about two and a half inches away from each other. Yes, I would. So how far down do you do this? Because I didn't really see it in the directions. And granted, honestly, y'all, y'all know me. I'm the queen of YOLO. I didn't really read, read the directions. I kind of just skimmed it. So, so I would say it's about two inches down. So it's literally two and a half inches. You're gonna make a, that notch and you have your notches there. And then this little area, you're gonna bring it about two and a half. So you're gonna put them right sides together, line up those notches, and then you're gonna make the area about two, it's about two inches down. So it's literally like this. And so you're gonna do that on your fabric. All right. And you have two darts that you need to sew into the top part of your dress, the front of your dress. Okay, I'm gonna trust the process here. Hey, everybody. So you have, you have quite a few people that are going to DC Frocktails. You have oh. uh, 
Patrice is going. You have Jamie is going. You know Jamie. You met Jamie before. Um, you have Leangela is going. T is going. Yeah. Are, are y'all saying, hey, Julian, are y'all saying y'all going? Or are y'all just saying that y'all uh, from D.C.? Just give us a little clarity here. Are you going to D.C. Frocktails or are you just from D.C., the D.C. area? But it looks like you have quite a few people that will be in the okay, house. Okay, everybody's going to be there. I'm excited. That's exciting. Yes. That's exciting. Hey, Julian. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Hey, we appreciate you being here. So if y'all are all going to D.C., what are y'all wearing? That's the question. I want to know right. about outfits because let me tell y'all something. I don't see no outfits. Y'all ain't been posting your outfits, and y'all know how I feel about posting Frocktails outfits before you actually go. I'm a big proponent of that. Um, just because we remember we did that for Miami. Um, LaShawn, do you feel yep. like it helped you like make friends while you were there? I'm big on making friends before the event. I do actually. I do feel like that. Definitely. So if y'all are going, what are you wearing is a big question. What are you wearing if you were, uh, you know, going to DC Fry Tales? I want to know all the tea. Don't yeah. just say you're going. Share with us the tea so we can know. Because I need to be able to recognize people. Y'all know I'm going to have on black. I, I am... I am committing. Well, before we get off this live, I will let you know if I'm committing to wearing this dress. I've already started to think about the accessories that I'm going to wear to take it up a notch because, you know, why not accessorize? I think I'm going to wear my hair. I don't know. I'm going to wear my hair some kind of way. I don't know yet. Come back to Denise. Oh, I am. I got my hair appointment that morning. Oh, my God. Y'all, why? Uh, Lashawn, go to my hairdresser. I, I'm having a little bit of FOMO because that is my girlfriend, and she does like when I was in Baltimore. That was that's my friend, but she is also, um, you know, my, my hairdresser. So, create girl. I haven't even thought about. Let me tell you something. And that you know what the challenge is. People don't have a theme. I feel like people will have would have thought about it a little bit more if they had a theme. But it's all good as long as you show up and show out. There you I go. You, you, you will look gorgeous in whatever you wear. Yes, let's talk about that first star is in there. She says she has not even thought about it. Who said that? Jamie. Well, think about it, Jamie, and post it. I want to see. Yes, please. You know what? Sometimes, it, sometimes it's like that. It's just a last minute. How you feel? What's the weather gonna be like? So I'm looking at my. So for those that don't know me, the other thing about me is that I love the weather. And what I mean by that is that I look at it every day, all day long. It's the screensaver on my TV. On is my... it really? I'm like obsessed with the weather. And that is my thing. Don't judge me. Um, I'm definitely... So, according to my TV, <laughs> next Saturday it is going to be 43 degrees. Um, and it's Saturday, right? Yeah. 40, 43 degrees and cloudy. No rain. That's not bad. That's not bad. That is what we would call on the East Coast a nice winter day evening. Not you don't know. Not you don't know. Lord bless. Yes. Okay, here we go. So oh, then okay. Okay, well, starts. I'll, I'll excuse it then. She said the kids have so now this is giving very boxy. Hold on. Hold on. Is this? Oh, is this? A, I guess this is supposed to like cut the boobs. Yes, you. It's gonna be like this. Okay. But up. It looks like it's a little bit gappy in here, but we gonna. Well, try the to... dart is solving for the gap, so this is gonna be probably a trust the process. Okay. It's trusted. Okay, I will. <laughs> they'll see you know what and like i always say look the best part of being in the souls is that you could fix anything just about no i can't i ain't worried that's that's one thing i'm not worried like i feel like we're gonna make it work regardless it's just yeah. and we're here to give you all of the process thanks Amy. 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 thanks Amy. so listen 
you know what we gotta make since we we, we gonna be hot girls this summer. We gotta make some. You so are you making me these Birkenstocks with me, Lashawn? Do you like Birkenstocks? Let me tell you why I want Birkenstocks though. Because okay. um, I travel a lot, and I, all the girlies that I travel with travel in Birkenstocks. What do you travel with? Whatever. Do you travel with sneakers? Because all my all my girlfriends travel in Birkenstocks, and I be feeling so left out. <laughs> I don't. I don't have like a. I'm like whatever I'm comfortable in. I mean, I don't. I'm not wearing any night clothes to the to the airport. No judgment, but I like to be comfortable. And so, unless if I'm unless I'm getting off a plane going to a meeting, I tend to wear a hoodie, a hoodie, some jeans, or a hoodie and sweatpants. Um, and. I will either wear boots. Now, I will wear a pair of heels, uh, knee-high boots, in a minute. Okay. Um, just because I'm short and I like to, you know, I wear, they'll be comfortable, but it's something about walking through the airport with your boots, with your heels on. You're crazy for that. Because I remember when you told me you did that. And I was like, Are you, have you lost your BMI? Now, yes. the, reason, the reason why we wear, they wear, I should say, um, it's because we travel long distances. Oh, yeah, yeah. And when you travel long distances, you know your feet swell on the plane. Yes, that's true. So that's why they wear Birkenstocks or whatever. So I say all this to say, if y'all are following uh, Creations by Jamie, and in the, in the, uh, make sure y'all following her because she got something really special dropping soon. Uh, okay. Right, exactly. So I, I'm trying to give y'all a little hint and situation. Don't be up in here, Jamie, because I'm a, I'm a, she gonna be like, Carmen, I said quotes. I put it in quotes for a second. So, yep. so anyway, you gotta make some burger sauce with me. Thank you. <laughs> I, I will definitely do that. So I am so excited to share with you that we have Lindsay in the chat. So Lindsay is who I spoke about earlier. She is the creator of the dress that we are sewing or one of the creators of the dress that we are sewing today. Um, she is the, can I say the owner, founder, of Stay Stitch Pattern Co. And thanks to Lindsay, um, she has given us a 30% off if you purchase this pattern. So you okay. use the code Let's Get Social. It's all over my platform. All So whether you're on TikTok or YouTube or Facebook, you will see it. Let's Get Social and you can get 30% off through the end of this month. So Definitely make sure that you go get this pattern because you will want to make this dress. Lindsay, thank you so much. You are not late. You are right on time. We are so excited to have you here. We're excited to be making this dress. Um, and so thank you for stopping by. Thank you for um, hopping on. I know you are so busy, so we are happy to have you here. Oh, Jamie. Yes, Jamie was one of the testers for the dress as well. Oh, okay. No, the dress is cute. The dress is cute. She loves. She says she loved it as well. Yep. Hey everybody, if we missed it, hey Tiff, hey Mike, Catrice, girl. Let me tell you something. If you have, I feel like Frocktail is per, is the perfect place for people with social anxiety in the song community because if you sell, you have things to talk about. Like so many people have said that to me. Like that. Um, you know, if anybody in the chat has been to uh. Frocktails, please provide Catrice with some words of encouragement and let her know. Because I see quite a few people in the chat. I ain't gonna put your business out there that you know aren't aren't you know aren't necessarily comfortable with crowds and being around a lot of people. But Frocktails, they say you know you know that's a good place to start. So if you guys could provide Catrice with some encouragement, girl, if I was there, I would certainly be there. Introducing you to everybody, like, yes, here go, Catrice. <laughs> that's a good place to start. And I know it's like, that's why I'm asking y'all to comment because everybody's like, Carmen, well, you're extroverted. And I'm like, well, I'm <laughs> to a certain extent. <laughs> see, I would see, okay, see Mike volunteer. Thanks, Mike. You can do it. Pin his comment, please. <laughs> yes, let's do that. Let's put it up there. There we go. We need the positive reinforcement, positive encouragement. So we also are going to be doing a dart in our lining. So we have a front facing piece, lining piece. So we're going to be putting a dart in that piece as well. Okay. I did both already. 
Oh, you did? Okay, excuse me. Listen, I'm just trying not to fall behind because I did not test this, so I don't want to fall behind. Okay. Thank well, you all for it. being here. Okay, this was a pretty quick... I hope I did the darts right. That's that's my only... I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Um, if not, guess what? This Look, this is a learning experience. Right. <laughs> that's this not is a learning experience. And what we know is we are a very friendly, supportive sewing community. And we are here to support you through all the efforts that it will take for you to uh, <laughs> pick that out. No! What's your girl back? <laughs> Hey, Dee. You know how I'm supportive. Hey, Top Notch, G. Hey, girl. Okay. Look at look at my co-host already ahead. Okay. Listen. That means for me to stop talking. Start no, so it doesn't. I'm just trying to keep up. Hey, Rosalind. Oh, thank you, Rosalind. Yes, please like the live because the likes don't be matching the um the number of folks on here. You know, my friend said that. He said hey. that. Um, Okay. Thank y'all for liking the live. Thank you for being here. Where's Lindsay at? Um, she's on TikTok. No, she's on um YouTube. I can't see. See, I can't see the comments, y'all. It's so very interesting. Oh, let me read them. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. No, I'm gonna go in here. Read. I have to click to another tab to see it. Hi, hi, Lindsay. Lindsay said Jamie's uh make was amazing. Diana, this is a um, this is an indie pattern. Diana, the link is. Did you put the link in your um description? The link is in my description. Yes, it so, is. So um, this is reminding me. I put it there. Lindsay, if you could really quickly in the chats talk about when you founded the company, like how long the company has been around. They have some really cute stuff. Are you guys primarily on Etsy, or if you're anywhere else, um. You should be able to comment, but the. Thank you. That would be so helpful. I'm interested in that myself. I'm not on TikTok, Jamie. I'm, I mean, Lindsay, I'm on um YouTube. <laughs> but um yeah, if you could tell us. Actually, I wonder if it's on the site. I probably could check and see when, when they that... found it. Now we are friendly, too. See, Aisha trying to be shady because I, I told her she wasn't friendly. <laughs> Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I sure did say that. <laughs> you know how you got some people in the chat in the church. They can be deaconesses. Aisha ain't one of them. Aisha ain't one of the deaconesses. Okay. <laughs> she tried to be Hello, smart. Everybody joining and stopping in on TikTok. Hi, uh, Miss Tata. Welcome. Thank you for hopping on. You know, Aisha ain't really the deaconess squad. She ain't gonna be on the usher board. Okay. She's going to be one of the trustees, you know, that be watching people when they count money. That's Aisha. She's going to count the money. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, so we have put our darts in. And it tells us to press our darts down flat. That's what I'm doing. Trying at least. Press those darts out. And y'all, I'm using a pressing pad, a DIY pressing pad that I created right here at home out of scraps. Hey, Kate. Hey, Key. Thanks for coming, y'all. We started in School Talk 21. You and Candace, so bake, make. Okay, I love it. I love you and Candace. Okay, I got to meet Candace one day. Okay, well. I'm going to be using my arm board. So for those that might have been following me, you will probably know that I'm in the process of revamping. So my sewing space is not in order. So I don't know what I did with my uh, ironing pad. So we're going to use this board. We're going to press these darts down. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to talk about our next step. Okay. Um, as we press our darts and then we will walk through it. Um, so I'm, so it's one of the things it does give in the directions and the instructions and Lindsay, you did an amazing job in the instructions. They are very, very well written and helpful. So for those that have not seen it, the instructions are on point. Um, but it does say like, Hey, if you have a thicker fabric, you may want to think about, um, trimming down the dart and pressing the seams of the dart open so that you don't have this like 
and I actually will probably do that. My fabric isn't super thick, but I think it would probably do better if I did exactly what the tip says. So I'm gonna actually cut my dart open and press out, press the, um, I did that anyway because I feel like, and I don't have thick fabric because I just feel like it just helps the, you know, flat. it just stays really nicely when you do that. Um, so I did that anyway. Hey, I've never done that before. This is new to me. This is a new, um, especially okay. if the fabric doesn't fray and your or and or you're lining it. It just really, um helps my sewing studio is always out of order listen Rosa, that's what I'm, saying. I'm getting my stuff in order i'm like girl my stuff will never be in order but you know good for you <laughs> look i good can't for you. mind in order yes d i cut my hair so Car i don't know if you were on but Car i started going to carmen's hairdresser um a couple weeks ago so it's been two weeks and so, of course, I she's in high demand, and I waited too late to make my appointment. I technically wanted to get my hair done this weekend, but I went on, and it was like, you wait. Basically, it said the website said you waited too long. And so, the next available, which actually worked out because it's the morning of frocktails, which I'm excited about. Um, so yeah, so it's I blow washed it because it needed to be washed. So what you're saying is the straight part of it, but I really like it. It's cute. I told you you were like a straight. So. Okay. I told yep. you you like a straight. Okay. So, um, and yeah, so when I go back this next time, I asked her to see if she could do a little bit of a toner in there. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little bit of yellow. Let's show her to the side. Am I to the side? Oh, what's happening? Why am I to the side? And you can take my comment down. We've seen that a lot. We, we've seen all we need to Why see. Why did that? Yeah. I did that one time before where it took me. Thanks so much for being here, everybody. We appreciate it. Why is it? Let me see. Stop the cam and then start the cam. You know what I think it is doing? I think it's saying to me that my iPad needs to be turned around. Okay. There we go. That's what it's saying to me. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay. Um, okay, so now let's talk about the next step. So thank you. Thank you for recognizing I got my hair cut. I wanted to say that before I moved on. I appreciate you recognizing that. Um, I'm letting my hair grow out long. I just realized I needed to, I needed something different. And I got it. Okay. Um, Rosalyn said, my soul, that's who said, my sewing space is always out of order look i feel you on that look maybe no judgment over here okay so the next step is after we press these darts out is we are going to work on our twist so that's this is the serena twist um dress and so we are going to work on our twist so you have four pieces four twist pieces that you are going to pull out you are cutting them it's on the directions tell you to cut them on a you know mirror but Basically, what that means is if you're if you have a piece of fabric and you fold it in half, you're gonna have two mirrored pieces. So you're gonna do that twice. So you have four pieces. And there is a picture. Again, these instructions are really good in that um, Lindsay gives you a picture that tells you how to lay your fabric out. So if you have any question about what it should look like, um, you can look at. They give you a little picture to tell you when you're laying your fabric out what it should look like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to, hold on, let me just do this and then I can be doing it at the same time. Thank you so much for reminding everyone to like the live, y'all. I appreciate it. Thanks so yes. much for having us. Okay, let me say I'm over here on TikTok now. Sorry, hopefully you can see my comments here. Oh, can you, are you on TikTok, Carmen? No. Uh, 
Oh, okay. TikTok. But that's okay, Lizzie. I will tell her exactly what you're saying. The people on TikTok are happy to see you and have you over there as well. And we have people that flip back and forth. So whatever works for you works for us, Lindsay. We are happy to have you wherever you decide to be. Okay. All right. I've done that piece. I'm just going to lay this right here. And that's looking really good. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you are going to grab your twist. Again, you have four pieces. And with right sides together, we are going to stitch the long side. So with a three-eighths of an inch. So this, I think Carmen had said this in the beginning. I'm almost certain she did. Our seam allowance for this is three-eighths of an inch. So here are my four twist pieces. So you are going to take two pieces and you're going to put them right sides together and you're going to stitch down the long side. So I'm taking my pieces, I'm putting them right side together. And by long side, it's hard to tell because I got on a black shirt, but it's basically this side. So right sides together, two pieces right side together, and we are going to do three eighths of an inch seam allowance. We're going to stitch right down the long side. after you pin or clip it so you can keep everything aligned. And you're gonna do that for both of your pieces. Or all, you know, you're gonna have two pieces that you're gonna do that with. Look at Carmen already ahead. I am not, I'm just sewing it together. You know what, I'm not pinning either. I, I ain't pinning, I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't pinning, I ain't pinning. So, Lindsay, you should absolutely come to Chicago Frock Tales. Teresa um, said she's really enjoyed the beginner PDF series. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear you say that. Good listen. LaShawn put her heart and soul in this one, okay, y'all? I'm so happy to hear you say that. That makes me feel so good that this has helped. You liked it and it's helpful. And if there's any, and I'm open to feedback, look, I'm an open to feedback kind of person. So if there's something that you, as you're sewing it or you have questions, please, not only do I, well, I don't know um, Vicky personally, but I definitely, you know, if I have a question that you have a question that I can't answer, I can always reach out to Lindsay. You can always reach out to Lindsay. And of course we, so any, you know, the other people that we, um, so Nikki, she's open to answering questions as well. So that's the other, you know, reason why I'm excited about sewing these patterns because these, the designers of these patterns are so supportive. All right. I've got one clipped and I'm about to sew. Lisa said that's a good sign. Of that's a good sign of teaching, a sign of good teaching. I know that's right, Lisa. <gasps> Thank you. Thank and you, that's thank coming you. from an expert, okay? Because Lisa is an expert and uh, professor, okay? Don't play with Lisa, okay? She no, was that's a right. Lisa, Miss I am a so is herself, okay? We have oh, a star in yes. the building. We have an, a million a million view star in the building. Shout out to Lisa. Oh, no, that's right. Shout out. And Lindsay is, Lindsay said, listen, if you buy her pattern, of course she's going to answer your question. Y'all better... Holla at Lindsay while you have access to her, okay, before she make it to Hollywood. She has other really quick... So, Lindsay is definitely... Like, if you don't follow Lindsay, she's, like, an exceptional, like, draper. She does some amazing drape work. And a lot of the... Uh, I think the, the twist is a very signature um, design and aesthetic for the stay stitch. Lindsay, would you agree? I know you can't see me, but I'm on the... I see yeah, your comments like, on TikTok. I'll let you know what she says. No, I'm on TikTok. I'm watching oh, her. Oh, she back. Oh, you you see her on TikTok. Okay, good. Um, yeah, let me tell you. So I'm so glad you brought that up. So even before, uh, you know, the know me patterns, I followed Lindsay because when Carmen said that this, she is like, I've never seen anything like what you can do with draping. It is like, it's almost like magic to me. Um, so I was already following, like, and so when Lindsay was, so, you know, when I found out that she was selected, I was totally not surprised. I was like, of course she would be a pattern designer because who wouldn't select her? I would. 
And there's definitely something effortless about her draping abilities. Oh. Like, it makes you feel like, oh, I can do that. Like, I, yes. I prefer, like, draping. I prefer draping over flat pattern anyway. Flat pattern is very math. I mean, draping is too. But, you know, draping, you get to see the outcome much quicker than when you sort of have to pattern things out using flat pattern. Um, so you get to see sort of like the elegance and just stuff come to life a lot quicker. And yes. I feel like that's what her page and her platform gives her audience, which I appreciate. Um, oh, you're welcome. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Lindsay the Stitch Fits. She's cool as hell too. Lindsay's a good yeah. time. <laughs> She's a good time. <laughs> Listen, Lindsay like to let loose, okay? <laughs> yeah, it is fun. It is fun. Okay, so I've got right. one, and now I'm doing the second one. Again, as a reminder, it is right sides together, and then you are going to stitch down the long end, so the straighter end of the two. You'll notice one has more of a curve and one is straighter. Three eighths of an inch seam allowance. So clip, align those raw edges, and then we're going to stitch three eighths of an inch. And that's all we're doing on this step, right? No, you're going to turn, you are going to then turn it right side out and you're going to press. Okay. That's the, that's the next step for your twists. Uh, any under stitching or no? Um, and, and you know what? Honestly, with a twist, it's going to get camera. I, so I doubt it. So. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's probably not necessary because it's going to be all twisted and folded in. All right. Okay. Yay! Me too, Lindsay. What should you say? I missed it. Let me see. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be so Oh, yes, easy. definitely. Lindsay, please, we want to see you in the building. Lindsay, when is Salt Lake City? Isn't Salt Lake City coming up? The only reason I say not always understitch. It's going to be twist and turn. You ain't going to be able to see it, Lisa. It's going to be camouflage in. It's going to be a whole bunch of gathering and this is my muslin, girl. This is my muslin. It's February 24th. Okay, y'all are okay. It's 24th. Okay. So if you're in the Salt Lake City area. Um, check out. Do y'all have a page, Lindsay? What's the page for y'all? Listen, I know you're a sewist. I know, Lisa. I'm a sew. I know. I know. I know. I'm a sewist. I know. I know. You said what you said, Lisa. This is something for your next um, for your next um video. I right. really, you got to do something on understitching. You got to fit right. it in. Yes. Hey, your next video got to address understitching. It got to address it. I'm okay if you shade me. I'm okay if you shade me. That got to be addressed in your next video. I just gave you some content. You haven't addressed understitching yet. There you go. Look at me helping. We don't have a specific page. Uh, another girl is over five. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. She said they don't have a specific page. Okay. Where is this? What frock tails is this? I missed that. It's this Salt, Salt Lake, Lake City. That's in Utah, right? Yeah. Utah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Utah popping. Okay. You know what? Another, um, it looks like another popping one. Um, Oregon. I was really surprised to see that because you type in frock tails, you like a whole bunch of frock tail pages show up. Portland look like they frog tails is popping. I was like, Portland, let me find out. Look, Lisa, what are you wearing to frog tails? Have you decided yet? Yeah, because she's going to DC too. Yeah, she said she's going to DC. So I want to know, what are you wearing? Are you wearing what you have planned to wear to um, New York frog tails? Because I know you put some effort in that. And since there's no theme, you could definitely... Oh, you said yes. Okay. Because I was going to say there's no theme, so you could totally wear it. All right. I'm a, You know what? Instead of pressing, I'm going to take Lisa's approach because she's a little bit thick. I'm gonna, I am going to do a little understitching real quick. Okay. 
That is just how things lay down, too. So can um, you tell the beginner soloists that might be on and are familiar with that terminology? Can you remind them of what that is? So understitching is essentially when you stitch the fate, you stitch the seam allowance to a facing piece or a lining piece. And what understitching does, it allows for your fabric not to roll. Like whatever way you don't want your fabric to roll, like I don't want it to roll here. So I want I'm gonna stitch my my um my seam allowance to the facing of this twist. And I'm just gonna like stitch really close, like literally like an eighth of an inch all the way down. You follow the seam a little like eighth of an inch away from where the seam is. And basically that number one, it helps to flatten out the seam when you don't want to press right away. And it just helps the fabric to sort of stay on one side. So that's essentially what it is. With knits, you don't see it too often with knits. Um, hey, Dory B. Hey, Auntie. Um, but I'm just doing it, not because Lisa told me to, but because I just think it's really funny. <laughs> okay. yeah, it definitely helps. Like, I should really probably be, because I have a fabric that's, like, kind of, it could benefit from some understitching. Yeah. But... I'm going to try to press approach. I'm committed to it. So we're going to see. I'm just, because I, I don't, I'm nervous a little bit about putting this iron on this full sweet, even though I think it can't handle it. I'm nervous. So I'm just taking So that's some. especially, especially when you can't iron something. That's especially when, like, faux leather, faux suede. That's especially when you want to understitch that LaShawn said, whatever. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. But I have not. I, I might. I might do it. It depends. I'm going to try to. I am going to try. So for the record, like when I made this, when I was testing, I did not have to understitch. My fabric, it pressed so well. It laid so flat. It was, it, it, I didn't need to. But this fabric is a little bit different. So the instructions don't call for, but as Carmen said, you know, you use your judgment. You could definitely always do that step. But be sure, before you understitch, because understitching is essentially the reverse top stitch, right? Like it's not a top, like top, it's, it's a top stitch for your seam allowance, right? Um, once you understitch, I I'm, I am not seen ripping understitch. It's, 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 listen, never. I've had to do it, and it's not fun. Understitching is a permanent decision. <laughs> it's like get a new cut, a new piece. I'm right, like somebody who's had to take it out before because I had no extra fabric. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. You said press cloth and clapper. Yes, let me let me get my let me, uh, my clapper. Okay. Thank you. Look, Lisa is coming out here with her one hundred percent. She is repping Auntie Carol like as if she was in. She's like, get the clapper. You should. I know. I'm about to say, Carol here. Lisa gonna be. She like we are. If Carol ain't here, Lisa's gonna represent for show. She was like. You will not miss a beat on my watch. <laughs> right. I'm like, wow. I thought Carol was on that. Right. Apparently. Look, not. that's a great look. That's a great. I, you know what? I always <laughs> thought we could do a book with like sewing taglines, like understitching is a permanent decision, things like that. Just put a whole book together of things that's, that we. That's, that's, that's a cool on. idea. Lisa, Isn't it? Like that's a cool. I know that really is. I ain't even trying to play you. I ain't even trying to play you. I ain't even trying to play you, girl. I love that. I think it is. We just collect like little quotes that everybody says that we say in the sewing community and we put it all together in one little book or little, you know, you know how you see those like each day calendar where you have a little page each day and it has like a little quote on it. Because we got a ton of them. Let me tell you. Like we're always saying something that's so, you know, cool. But I saw Aisha put it in when you, after you said it, like, yes, because it is a permanent decision. Because guess what? Fabrics get thrown away because they understitched after a mistake is found, before a mistake is found. Expeditiously. Expeditiously. Right. Like, okay, what's the right for this? <laughs> Maybe next time. Look, if there, was a, if there was a book, wouldn't you all get one? I would. I would get one. 
Listen, so it is. Have some, um, you said I thought Pearl was on vacation. Yeah, we thought she was on vacation too, and she showed up, and her name was Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Listen, dude. It's yes, awesome you said all. lots of sayings. Drop a saying in the chat. Like, what would you, what do you think could make it to a book of sewing things that we, so, things that sewers say? Listen. What can make it? If I can't, oh. if I don't see it, I can oh. sew it. If I don't see it, I can sew it, okay? If I don't right. see it, I, I know can that's sew right. If I don't Did see it, I can say sew it. Everyone is on probably on YouTube, um, Divya. So come on over to the YouTube side or feel free to stay over on the Facebook side, wherever you are most comfortable. But you yeah. say you're wondering where everybody is. They're probably on YouTube. Mike said, I will not hem your pants. I know that's right. I know that's right. I, right. There you go. I know that's right. And I won't. Let me see. Look, uh, Lisa said, measure twice, cut once. I know that's right. So happy said I would definitely buy a book with sewing sayings in. I would. I definitely would. Because you say some of the best stuff. Somebody says, so stinking cute. So S-E-W. I that's, that's Auntie Kim. Oh, is it? Hi. Hi, Auntie Kim. I didn't know that was, I didn't know that was your. Girl, because she back on TikTok. She been oh, on TikTok for a while. I, I know. Like, she came I back. Know that. Yeah, she came back. Welcome. Happy to have you back. I did not know that was you. Hi. I know. I, Auntie Kim, are you going to the so are you going to the so much talent retreat this year? She said she didn't respond. I know I'm looking. Look, Lindsay, we, you know, YouTube, we, I love that YouTube, YouTube and Facebook, you can see us both. Um, And I, you have to have 10,000 followers on TikTok in order to use StreamYard. And so, you have to have a, uh, um, this is have a Windows device, remember? Oh, when, and a Windows device, which I don't have any Windows devices for my, for my personal life. Um, okay. Well, Sean, um, Lisa said the light is lighting. LaShawn well, got a whole entire production in there, okay, Lisa? I know. Look, I think got, I got a whole entire studio. Like back there. I didn't set it up right, but that's why it's like greening. But it's supposed to give you like a little reflection, but I don't have it. I've been trying to work on this lighting thing. Let me tell you, people who do lighting, they have a little special place in my heart now because the lighting thing is, is the whole thing. Okay, so I have pressed i think and avoided under stitching to the best of my ability did you finish your under stitching i'm almost done oh no, um, no take your time because i was debating if i'm like if prime is still going maybe i will but i'm not what's the next step okay so let me talk about the next step so we've prepped our um our twist and we're on to step number four which tells us to take our one of our twist pieces fold it in half with the raw edges um, on top. So I'm going to take this one that I have open right here. And we are, so let me just show you what I did. I'm going to hold it open. So this is our, this is our piece that we have sewn together. So remember we did right sides together. We sewed it down the long edge, three eighths of an inch seam allowance. We turned it with the right sides out. So now we're on step number four. And then we are going to take this piece and we're going to fold it in half with the raw edge at the top. So this is the raw edge at the top. And we're going to line those raw edges up. So fold it. Your folded pieces at the bottom and your raw edges at the top. I'll repeat it again, Carmen, when you get to it. I think I got it. Uh, raw edges towards the top. That's right. And you're fold you're, I'm folding that piece in half? You're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to put your raw pieces facing up. So this is the raw edge. This is the folded piece. So you're just doing that with one of your pieces. And then you are going to, and I'm going to wait, Carmen, I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to talk about it. You're going to get your back skirt piece. That's the next piece that we're going to be working with, our back skirt piece.
You know what? I'm surprised. I think I I would have probably done. I probably would have basted this together. You can. I mean, it's the the directions don't call for, it, but you absolutely can do it. So let's talk about what. Why would someone decide to base it together? Again, just making it a teaching opportunity. Just to keep, because it's a lot of layers. So it looks like we're mm -hmm. doing three layers. Yes. Okay. So, well, actually more than that. So it's one, two, three, four, and then five with the back mm -hmm. piece then, right? Yes. Right. Well, no. So yes, it's that's correct. Yes, that is correct. Because you're folding it. That is correct. So yes, so you would that you could baste it together to keep all the pieces lined up. Yeah. So you can either baste it like this and then fold it, or you could fold it and baste it too. Yeah. Or you attach it. But the instructions tell you so you could definitely do that to keep all the pieces to your point. You know, it's a few layers and you want to make sure that they stay lined up. So you could totally do that, totally based across the top. And I probably will do that too, just because it'll make it easier when you go to attach it. So should I base the top and the sides based upon you? You, you yes, because you are going to, that side is going to end up in the side seam. It's going to end up in the seam allowance of the side. So you could totally do that, but not together individually. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to base it together. Hmm. I would. I mean. Why would not base it all? You could. I guess you could because you don't have to take it apart. Right. So you could totally do it. Yes, you could. So just to be clear, this is what we're talking about for those because this is not in the instructions. So, Lindsay, we're not messing with your beautiful instructions because they are very clear and beautiful. Um, so what, Karma, what we were just talking about is sometimes when you have to fold, you have to sew together multiple layers, like in this case, you have these two layers and then you almost have four layers because you're folding them in half and then you're going to sew it to the top of the skirt. And so that's going to create a fifth layer. So you have one, two, three, four. And so to make sure that all of that is together, the instructions do tell you that you can pin and that, and in many cases, depending on how thick your fabric is, pinning will work just fine to keep all those layers together, especially if you take your time. But one of the other things that you could do is take this piece that you're going to be pinning. And the other thing that you want to make sure that you do is that you do need to leave a little opening at the corner, Carmen, because you have to slip that other piece through. In the center, right? Yes. Where it's like three notches, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. So if you do do a basting stitch at this top before you sew it, you need to make sure that you don't sew it all the way across because yep. you got to be able to slip that other twist through this side. And as Carmen said, there's actually a couple of, there's three notches in that middle part. And if you could just leave those open, you'll that'll be enough for you to squeeze it in. But you could do like a basting stitch, just like right here at this edge just kind of keeping it together so that it stays all lined up. And then you could also do a basting stitch down this edge as well. Again, just to keep it in there, it's a temporary stitch. I usually do mine at five. I set mine at 5.0. It's my yeah. length um, when I do my basting stitch. Cause I'll be the one to miss a layer. That's the, that's the only reason I'm suggesting it for me. You know, again, you can use your pens, your clips, whatever works best for you. I miss. I am uh, the queen of missing layers, so that's why I said, "Let me just to be on the safe side for me." Right. Yep. And you just and what you don't want to do is put the whole thing together and then realize you missed a layer. Right. Um, especially with that twist, because that'll be hard to kind of navigate after the fact. Yeah. Um, you would have to take the side out and then yeah it would be it would be a it would be a situation if you had to take it out all right so i did want... another d said buttons holes aren't a faint of heart is another saying yeah that's a good one life is short by yeah. the amen look at all the all the um the quotes yes yeah, I i'm here for it i love it Hello, Catherine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I dropped any. Let's see. 
So I have a, I don't have a ring light. I have a, um, it's like a ring light, but it's not. It's a long linear light and it come, it turns into different shades. It's got like a yellow a light. Um, thank you. I worked hard on this light. This lighting was a whole thing. I know Lisa is very, and she I is appreciate her with your lighting, girl. <laughs> I pre I'm still trying to get to where the back is dimmed out. Uh, I'm still working on that a little bit. The like three light system. So I turned my lighting on in the back. So it's like dim in the back. I don't know that you could see it so much on Facebook, but I think on TikTok you could see it really well because at least it appears that way on my screen. Now your light is it looks really, really good. <laughs> Okay, I'm here for it. Yeah, you ain't like I'm a, the rest of us like we we doing the best we can with what we got, okay? Okay. Now this looks a little bad. Okay. All right, so now I'm supposed to stitch this to the back, you said? Yes, yeah, so you are going to stitch again. Leave make sure that you leave that little section open at the um at the center so that you can uh, put your other twist, your other twist through, but you are going to, and let me just pull it out so you can see. This is your back. So you're going to grab your dress back piece. And let me just make sure I don't miss anything. You're going to grab your dress um, back piece or your skirt back. And then you're going to place that folded twist. So here we go. Here's my, let me make sure I have it right side up. Oh, I do. Okay. You're going to Place your folded twist piece on the top of the right side of the back skirt. So here's my folded twist piece on the back side of my. So I actually have the wrong piece, turned the wrong way. Okay, so you're gonna place it. This is the top of your skirt. You're gonna place it right sides together, aligning the raw edges, and then you're gonna pin. So you're going to line these raw edges. You're going to line the raw edge from the side and at the top as well. Um, and then you're going to pin and stitch. And again, you're going to leave, you need to leave open this little piece right here. And there's notches there. So you're going to basically stitch from, let me see, does it say uh, right at the back side of the skirt, align the raw edges, pin in place, make sure. So from the side seam to the first notch, right? Okay. So to the first notch, from the side seam to the first notch is what you're sewing. Oh. Oh, child. I was like, where are my notches? I know I got them. Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're just on it. We're just, um, We're only doing the top, correct? Like we're only sewing the top. That's right. At this point, you are only sewing the top. And then we're going to flip it up. Right? So this is how it looks. So you Not fold yet. it, st stitch it over, and then we're going to flip it up. And that's how we're going to do the front to the back. When you say flip it up, what do you mean? So I, we're doing like, like this curve at the bottom. So I'm taking this folded piece. I'm folding this in mm -hmm. half like this. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to stitch this to the top curve. That's right. And I'm only, I'm not sewing anything on the side. Not yet. I don't, so I know I'm jumping ahead, but I got to think about it in my head. So basically we're going to sew this curve. And once the curve is sewn on both, well, we'll get to that in a second. Got the other piece in, we're going to do the other piece. Right, we're gonna I'll slip it in, it. and then when that's all said and done, we're gonna flip this up, and this basically becomes oh, flip up right the twist. You're saying okay, yeah, you're saying the twist, yes, before we sew both sides, sew the front to the back. Is that what yes. you're saying? Yes, oh, this dress is done, y'all. Y'all might as well stick around for this. Y'all might as well stick around. I know, it's very, it's it's yeah. it's a very you know, I would say we did a lot of patterns this week that were beginner friendly. This is probably of all the patterns, in my opinion, is probably the, it's a quick sew, but I would say it's probably the most beginner friendly of all the ones that we have done. I, in my opinion. 
I would yeah. say. Definitely. Um, yeah, this is this is light work. This is light work. So this is definitely light work. Like, oh, okay. Perfect, and it's so like understated but cute, like simple, straight to the point. Um, this is a uh, knit only. Did they say which kind of knits in the? Um, they well, so the, again, great instructions. They tell you about. Let me see where is it in here because I don't want to pretend like um. They tell you about the type of needle that you need to use. All of this is in the instructions. We didn't really talk about it, but ballpoint or stretch needle, twin needles. Um, they say, they tell you the stitch type, zigzag stitch, which I, so they tell you the zigzag stitch. I tend to use a straight stitch as long as I have at least the two-way stretch. And it gives me just a more snugger, but zigzag stitch is the appropriate stitch for knits. And then let's see, um, pressing seam. Where is it? I'll tell you the, pad, the fabric. Um, okay, recommended fabrics, here we go. The pattern would sew up well with knit fabrics that have at least a 60% stretch cross grain. Um, okay. Something with four-way stretch and good recovery is ideal. It should sew up well in rib knits, jersey blends, Ponte Daroma, athletic knits, or even stretch velvet. Uh, and it says just they have a stretch guide. So that's what I was kind of skipping ahead to talk about is the stretch guide. So I'm gonna talk about that real quick before I sew this up. Where is my little stretch guide? Hey, Lisa, welcome, they, welcome, miss, welcome, when welcome. it came to these pattern instructions, they did not miss a beat. Where is my stretch guide? Okay, here we go. I just learned about stretch guide. I'm gonna tell you last month. I see this on the patterns and I never knew what, what it was. This is how you can tell if your fabric has enough stretch for the pattern that you want to use. And so in this case, they basically tell you to cut a, a piece that is the length of this. And usually it's like four inches if I remember correctly. And then you basically put that, you hold that fabric onto this piece and then you pull it and it should go to, if it says 60% stretch, it should go to where the 60 is. And then you know that your fabric has enough stretch to be able to do this particular pattern because it says 60%. So they didn't miss a beat. I'm telling you, when it came to like what you need to do, what you need to know, they did not miss a beat. Now let me put my instructions back in order so we can follow them. Mm -hmm. I was a little reckless with the assembly of this one, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, I already made my first mistake. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I know, I forgot to leave an opening, y'all. Don't forget to leave that opening now. <laughs> Don't forget your opening. Darn it. And I was like, I'm going to be on it. I'm going to remember. Child. Never fails. Never fails. This is why, even with the stretch stitch, you <laughs> want to extend the length and the width, If you're, especially if you're using a lightning ball. And I got this from Carol. She always says extend your, your, your um the width by at least... um a point so normally the the width is at 1.0 for lightning bolt and the um the length is at 2.5 so you want to extend that to 3.5 and 2.0 that's just a little carol tip okay whenever she's even if she's not here she's always here y'all <laughs> she yeah. is always here so I just put my, I was putting my basting stitch in this one and I realized it wasn't lined up. So I'm just taking it out. So I look like the thing about a basting stitch is it's only, it's, it's a, 
bit. It's a large, you know, wide stitch. So it's really easy to take out. And you don't need like a, you don't need a huge hole in this, right? The, mm -hmm. the, just... No, you don't. You really don't. So you don't have to take out a lot. Yeah, you don't need just enough to be able to, you know, the thinner your fabric is, the easier it's going to be able to slide that twist through. All right, well. You'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Listen, that's one thing. I don't worry about much. That's one thing about me. That's one thing about your girl, y'all. I don't worry about much. We're going to get it done regardless. Let me see what comments I'm missing. I'm missing Very all Very easy. Hey, Lala. Hey. You are so welcome, Lindsay. I'm telling you, you did a great job with this pattern, with this instructions. And I'm going to tell you, like, so I eventually one day I want to make my own pattern one day. And that, the, um, what do you call it? The testing experience was really a great experience for me. It was really a good experience. Lindsay says she always forget to do the opening too. See, I don't feel that bad. <laughs> she said, yeah, I always forget to. Oh, I feel good then. Thanks, Lindsay, for making me feel better about my mistake, Joe. Um, Thank you, Lala. Thank you. All right. So we're going to just slide it through. Like, literally, you don't need that much. Actually, it makes it easy to finish. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got it through, y'all. Oh, that looked good. You know what? And guess what else? You know, closing it through like that, <laughs> I'm not recommending y'all do this, but what? it makes the fit, like, because I know, like, it looks like from the opening, we I guess they expect us to do some sort of hand basting or whatever. That's what I'm, that is what it looks like. I don't know. Say it again. You think it's a hand base? I don't think so. Girl, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, like that. to Sorry. close in the hole, like you know, like the hole is oh, big no. enough for you had to go in, maybe do some hand basting. But because of my my, I kept it so little, it makes mm -hmm. it so easy to like. Anyway, I get it. I get what it, what my rationale. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> you like, girl? What? Okay. You said Carmen. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, that's a, yeah. that's. A, that's all you gotta do. I got I got this. My point is, I got this. All right, and now I am clipping and stitching this on. My point is I got this. So the knot, oh goodness, okay. What, tell me, talk to me. No, I just, you know, you just gotta get as far over as you can, right? I'm guessing. When you stitching the other side together? Yes. Yeah, just get as close as you can. That's the thing, like, with these knot kind of dresses. Because I've made knot dresses before. Um, you just got to do the best you can with the second side. You can't get it but so close, you know? Yeah, but it usually... I mean, I when I did the uh, first one, it just... Um, I didn't have any problem. I mean, it, I was... It was... I, there was, like, no hole or anything. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's my point. It's yeah, it fit together well. It, I mean, you know what I mean. It's like it's not troubleshooting. It's listen. I I asked this last week. I don't know if it was this live. I asked on one of my. I know it was me and Shishi. I asked, have y'all ever made anything? Have you ever sewn anything where you did not need your seam ripper? Have oh. you ever, anybody in the audience, can you do poles on this thing? You can. I don't do know a pole. Let me see. You definitely can do it. Let's test out the pole feature over on the, around these parts. Have you ever done a project when you did not have to use your seam ripper? Michael. Michael, stop. Okay. All right. Here I don't go. know. I, I, don't get me to line how to do it. I need to investigate. Here, I you need to Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> I need to investigate. Mike, okay. is Julian jo is Julian coat done? Is your cape done? Mister, I wanna I wanna shine up in here. Is your cape done? Is your cape done? Okay. Here's my first uh, side. 
And now you're going to take your other piece. This is your other twist piece. And you're going to feed it through that little gap. So here's my twist piece right here. Again, raw edges facing up. And, and I feel like if you go to the first notch, the hole is small. Yeah. It's small that you, you know. Okay, so here we go. Am I doing this right? Let me see. Show me what you did. I think I, I think I did something wrong. I think I did something wrong. No, don't tell me that. <laughs> no, let's let's hope you didn't do anything wrong. Oh, so fix it. Whatever's done is fixed. I'm glad I nothing yet. I was about to go in on the stitch too. Hold on. Okay. How do I how do I so. feed through? How do I feed the all right, so this is supposed to be folded like this, right? So this is how it looks flipped up, correct? So it's like a little flat going down, right? Yes. So and that what, wait a minute, let me just make sure I know what you're showing me because all of the fabric has been blended together. So what you're showing me right now is your skirt with one of the twists attached. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so the opening is towards the center. Yeah. So that's okay. And now you're gonna take your other twist piece that you've already like folded. And my have, edge is at the top. Your edge is going to be towards the, the bottom the, because the finished edge that we just did. Oh, the finished edge. That's correct. I'm sorry, I thought you meant the raw edge. Yes. Because you are gonna be making that basically if it's you're going to also be attaching these four pieces or the five pieces together to that. So all those raw edges have to be lined up again. So the only difference is that instead of just sewing it on there, you're basically putting it through the loop. Then you're sewing it on there. Okay. And then you're going to do exactly what you said, which is flip it up, which is how all that's going to be. Let me make sure. I'm doing it right. Yeah, you're going to flip it up. So it's going to look like this when you, well, let me, I haven't sewn this side together yet, but hold on. Let me pin it so I can show you how it's going to look. Okay. I think I got the. So basically when you're, after you put it through the loop, you are going to line up all those raw edges the same way you did it on the other side. Okay. So it's easier if you keep it kind of like all folded down. Don't flip it up because then it'll be all the raw edges will be. You do have to flip it up, but just not yet. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure what I'm keeping it flipped up because it was looking a little, a little interesting when I did it. So I'm just taking my tweezers and kind of bringing it through. Hey, is that um, Brooklyn Timmy? Because I don't know. You be having a million different <laughs> names, child. Oh, good. Is that her? Is this? All right. Okay. All so right, y'all. All right. I yeah. think I got it. All right. 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 Okay. So I'm just, I'm going to clip this and then I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay. 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 Woo, Jeff! Okay. <laughs> you got this. I know. This is where I sold up the hole and I try, I'm trying to keep the hole little. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep the hole little. Keeping the hole little is good. Keeping the hole little. Oh, Lord. That sounds kind of, you know. <laughs> a little preferred, a little preferred, but you know, we all well, grown it's here. We it's all important. Grown. It's all important. Grown. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay. Let me clip this. 
I'm clipping it and then I'm gonna show you. All right, I got it. I got it. I just needed to to visually change the change the visuals a little bit. I think I I know I. You got this, girl. I do. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I love the encouragement. Okay. I have all the all the faith. Oh, that's Tammy. That's Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Okay. Okay, y'all. I got it. I got it. I got Yay. it. Yay. Yay. I had to just make it work in my brain. I got it. No, it was a La La Bell in here. That's who I was asking. Yeah, La La Bell was in. Yes, that's. I thought you said that is Brooklyn. That's what I said. Is that Brooklyn to me? I think that is her. That was her last week. Right. I swear, Brooklyn Tepe, you the ox, girl. You are the ox. <laughs> okay. I'm just clipping this. <laughs> Listen. No, I got it. I got it, y'all. I got it. I'm hype. I like it when, you know, with the twist and shout, I call these the twist and shout, shout kind of tops or whatever. You just got, you got to kind of, I, my recommendations is to pin everything out first before you go in or baste it like baste it because i have sewn it up and be like oh no that ain't what the, that ain't what it's supposed what to get that? right what is this that ain't what we were supposed to do here so my biggest recommendation for twist tops are to pin it out or to baste it out or both whatever you know whatever you want to do that's your business but yeah. I'm actually gonna go in and put a little Thanks stick. everybody again for being okay. here. We appreciate it. I gotta start logging on to my computer. So LaShawn, okay. what are you um so here is the other side if you can look. So what I did was I took this is the original piece that I stitched. I put it on, I stitched it across the top, and then this is the other piece. So I basically Shall we took talk it her this up. up. Talked her huh? ass up. We talked her ass up. Is that is she is that Auntie Carol coming off of vacation? Oh, child, here she go. Here she go. Who who summoned her? Who summoned her? Child, here she go. All right, real quick. Okay, so this okay. the other twist piece. You are basically going to do exactly the same thing, except for your before you stitch across the top, you're going to put it through the hole. So remember, when you stitch this piece, you are only stitching up to the first notch. That leaves a little teeny hole. You're going to put it in there and then align the raw edges of your twist piece. So you're going to have these two pieces with the top of the skirt. And then you're going to stitch from this end. So the main thing is just remember, line up your raw edges. After you sew this, when you're putting the second piece in, put it in so that you are lining up your raw edges. You want your raw edges to all be lined and then you're gonna sit straight across all the way to the first notch. And that should give you a really tight, if like this is not together, but this is what it's gonna look like when it is together. I haven't stitched it yet, but you, you get the idea. You already stitched one side together, right? I did, but I ain't stitched the other side, but I was just showing when you, remember what you were saying about flipping it up? This is what it's going to look like, potentially. I haven't sewn it together, but when it's flipped up. So, all right. I'm getting ready to sew it. Now it's time for the main event. The main event. What is it going to do? We are close. This is really... I know I say this every time, but this time it's true. No, we didn't say that last week. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did say it. I, I, I say I said it at the beginning, then I kind of backed away. Listen, last week was not quick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, Auntie Carol. Hey, girl. We missed you. I ain't gonna lie. You were missed this week. You were missed, girl. Okay. There you go. That's what you wanted to hear. Okay. I like I like it. I like where we're going. Dang, I put it on the understand. <laughs> That we are an hour and a half in, and we are literally gonna be done with this dress really quickly. This is so cute. This the I like the way that they designed this finishing. Yes. Um, 
really clean finish. So I feel like with the way they designed, the way like how you finish this and not mm -hmm. like not just, oh yeah, you can just do a quick just twist and just top stitch it. Like creating this facing really makes it like you don't need a serger, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, you can serge it if you want, but I don't think a serger is necessary um, with finishing this, this. So again, further confirming or further accentuating the fact that this is a very beginner-friendly pattern. And it's a beginner-friendly, like, beyond, like, you know how they be trying to get beginners, like, tote bags and stuff. This is a beginner-friendly pattern that you will really be pleased with. Like, you'll feel like you're giving the girls fashion. You know. Yeah. Who, who said that? Who's Twanity? You know Twanity? He that said they were going to yeah, be. That's my son. Not Twanity said it's going to be another two hours. Shady Shade. <laughs> that is my son. Shade. Yeah, so you stay on. That's all. I'm. That's all that matters. Just stay on. Not. Uh uh, not no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, he coming in here getting bold. He be quiet. Usually he say hi. Now he up here getting bold. Uh uh, not uh, son. Not not uh, enough. Watch enough. <laughs> okay. We say, does, do you say that about his game and stuff? No. Uh, right, exactly. Because he surely do be on there. Okay. All right, I hope I did this right. I know it's it's given that I did something wrong, but we're gonna hope I we're don't gonna, think it is. We're gonna hope that it's right. We're gonna hope that it's right when I finally throw it on. So I'm gonna just base down the side just to just you know make sure. Is this my right side? Yes, I am. Right side. Oh yeah, this is where I need to probably let's just base it together really quick because this is a lot of layers, but I'm guessing the next step, and without knowing, is uh, basing the, the straps on. Yeah, let me see what we're doing next. We are, well, it tells us to press it down. <coughs> and then it says, so flip the top half of the twist up, which is what you had talked about, and press, and then base the bottom twist edges to the sides of the skirt. What are we based it? Oh, you know what? So we put this, we basted this together, but really, is it down? It is down. So I I I told you wrong. I said to base these to side together and we're not basting it together. So it's a good thing is we just did a basting stitch. So what am I what are you saying? So the side where we remember originally we said you said hey should we base the side and I said it's gonna be but it's down it's one is up and one is down so it's like this it's not like this one piece goes down here so look at your uh, twist remember you said hey do we do that so that's why I I oh, okay. Like that. What? So oh, put that, oh, okay. Yes, right. well, you put I that basting base. stitch on the side. We're not yeah. basting. Okay. The side. Oh, got it. It was got just it, the got top. It, got, it, got it. Got it. Okay. That's fine. That, it's still okay. Yeah, it's okay. But so what you are doing is now that you. So I understood the wrong side. See, this is why I should not have listened to Lisa and understood shit. Because I, I. I you understood that part too? That no, I understood the way I understood the time. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so what we are gonna do is I'm just taking out this basting stitch really quick. Is we now that we have our twist together. Hey T. Okay, here is our twist. I knew I was like, why do I see a little gap? Okay, here we go. So this is our twist. You are going to take and you're going to put a basting stitch on the side, just basting this bottom portion of your twist to the skirt. What you think about Carmen? I see that face. That no, I know. I know exactly what I did wrong. It's fine. Okay. 
So yeah, so you're gonna do that on both sides. So we are literally taking the bottom part of this and just doing a basting stitch just to baste it to the skirt. You know what? I got it. Ah, uh, okay. So it's basically it's not like okay. What? I mean, I, could, I still could have did it the other way. I still could have did it the other way. Like, okay, I see you on the picture. I should have. I didn't even pay attention to the picture. Got it. Okay. But because I did that damn understitch and it ain't gonna lay like I needed to lay. Oh darn it. Listen in, Lisa. Never again, Lisa. Never again. Okay, so here, let me just show you this again. This is how it should look. Yep. Yep. I know exactly how it should look. Okay. <laughs> God. Carmen is so funny. Yep. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I'm clipping and then I'm going to pin. And so, so far, I'm feeling like this is going to be my frock tail dress. Um... It's giving me frock tail vibes. I got the perfect accessories, which I'm not going to put on tonight, but I will put on at frock tails. For the frock tails, it's black velvet. I'm thinking I got some shoe options, either a strappy shoe. It's definitely got to be a strappy shoe for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be uh, warm enough for it. Yes, I think so. 43 is perfect. Okay, so here we go. I am literally just doing a basting stitch right down the, each one of these sides. Did, where's Auntie Carol? She, she said she's, my, she's driving to mom's house. Oh, okay. I'm like, because she normally have more to say. No, leave her, okay, leave Auntie her Carol. Lisa has been taken over. She and let us know exactly. Stinger me wrong. Stinger me wrong when I shouldn't have done certain things, but it's fine. Okay, so let me turn it back to 5.0. And we're going to put this quick basting stitch in here. Listen to Lisa. Lisa. Lindsay, are you still on? If you're on, how long, when you make your, this dress, I'm sure you've made it a lot of times, how long does it typically take you to make your this dress? No, that's quick. I'm about to make another one. I got some other fabric. I just, I need to test the fit. I'm about to make another one tonight. I know that's right. That's how I be. When I make something for the first time and I'm like, oh, okay, I want to, I get a feel for it. Especially if it's something that's a quick sew. I'm like, okay, I'm making another one real quick. I got this other fabric. That's exactly how I be. So I got it. It looks good. Okay. A couple hours. Lindsay is meticulous. <laughs> hours. Okay. You could do this in an hour, y'all. <laughs> All right. Here's how my back looks. You can't really tell because of the um the design. Oh yeah. Okay. That's it. You got it. It's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect, Carm. I mean, perfect-ish. Yeah. This looks good. It camouflage like I like using prints. Good. Prints are that girl because it camouflages all your all your dirty secrets. Okay, get a print. You, you start using prints. If, okay, I don't know why y'all be so scared to use prints because it be hiding all my dirty secrets. Okay, all my dirty secrets. I'm about to um go right in here and add my little straps. I'm gonna base my straps in real quick. I lost my stripes. No, you didn't. Where are you, stripes? All right. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Look at that. It's giving, I'm almost done. It is definitely giving that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here. And what are we doing next? What's this? Okay, this is fine. 
I see a split in the back. Did you add a split in yours in the back, or am I tripping? Is that optional? Is it split um, optional, Lindsay, if you're here? I did not do split because I cut my... I think it is, let's see, side oh. slit. It's the side. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Yeah. I'm like, put it in the back. It's cut on the fold. I mean, but you could always... I don't like silver, so I just keep my. I like I like that hourglass look, so I'm gonna just put it, take it all the way okay. there. You're gonna take it all, and I think I actually might do that too. I think I'm gonna do that because I do. I mean, I do like a slit too, but I feel like because I'm wearing this the frog tails, and I want to have that like fitted. I think I'm gonna take the take it all down. Okay, so we are going to be doing our straps. So let me just see. Straps, we are on. Oh, no. Well, we are. Let me see. What's the next step? The next step is to pin the front to the back at the side seams. Did you already do that? Really? So we not add the straps first? So the strap, remember, we had the facing. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Six. Okay. Flip top of the stuff. Uh, press space. Twist edges to sides of skirt. No, we're gonna add it when we add the facing. Okay. So, so the are we the doing the sides? To pin the front to the back at the side seams with the right sides together matching the notches. Okay. So we are literally gonna have what is gonna be almost a completed dress. So front to the back at the side seam. So get all of your We're going to do right sides together. Of course. Of course. So are you going to baste it or are you just going to like go for it? Oh, I'm just going to pin and sew. Okay. Pin and sew. Because it's literally just these two pieces. And this is where... If you were going to do the slits at the, I mean, the slits on the side, there are notches. So you're going to stop where those notches are. But I'm going to take mine all the way down because I do want to, and I may end up, depends on how it fits. I'm going to try it first. I may end up taking it in a little bit at the bottom just so it gives me, I'm, I'm going to try it on first. That might be an adjustment that I'm going to make after the fact. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm gonna do. I'm a that's why I said I might baste it down first just to see. Oh, just so you can see how it's fit it fits. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go for it because LaShawn like go for it. That's what you that's what no, no, because if you do have to take it out, it's so much harder, especially if you know you're gonna make an adjustment or you think you might make an adjustment. I feel like though when I made it the last time it fit me really well. The problem is this is a completely different fabric. Yeah. So I can't really judge how that fabric fit me because that was a four-way stretch that I had used the first time. It was very stretchy. So okay. this one is the suede stretch. It's not four-way stretch, but it does meet that. It's like 55-ish percent. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to just stitch it down. I'm going to just stitch it all the way down. What I am going to do, however, is implore the, like I, like I said, Carol, taught us to um hold on what she taught us is they extend it by one so it's easier oh, to look. take out because, then she uh, said that you can do one one slit on the side two back or you know both so it's really that's a so it's after my own heart make it how you want it yeah <laughs> <clears throat> so you have some options here for slits. All right. So I'm going to just go straight down. You already clipped your whole thing? Girl. Oh, you like, I don't need that clip. Well, I got a clip. I'm clipping. I mean, I'm, I pinned. Oh, pinned. Okay, pen and clip is... I ain't, I ain't that reckless. Cause I'm, I'm 
I want to see how it fit. I be hype. I be hype. I ain't gonna lie. I do think this is for this dress is perfect for a girl with hips. I don't have hips, so I do anticipate having to um adjustment. Yeah, at the hips for me. That's just my prediction. Um, but we're gonna see. We are going to see, but I do think that I will have to take it in at the hips because I am literally straight up and down. Uh, we'll see that. And yeah. All right. So Like whenever I see something with like de like definite hip curve, I'm like, oh, I might have to take that in. <laughs> whenever I see a curve in the paradigm, I say, yeah. You like, I don't have right that curve. Because I ain't got no hip, y'all. I don't have that curve. It's okay. Look. Listen, I don't care. I, I, I know either. my body. I ain't got that much. Just a bit. Just a tad. <clears throat> I have no hips whatsoever. So I will try it on for y'all as soon as I get to. Okay, I feel like I have. Auntie Carol, we need to talk tomorrow, okay? Is she still on vacation? No, she back home. She on her way to mom's house, her mom's house. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, y'all. All right. I am. I think I'm done clipping. I think I have clip, clip, clip. Line those raw edges up. Clip, clip, clip. Or pin, pin, pin. Right. Or pin. I like clips for, for knits because. I like it for slinky knits. You be giving me the blues. <clears throat> And you I'm said, you're, are you including one or two slits? I'm not going to do any. I'm going to do, because I want it to be a little bit of a tight fit. This is stretched. I could be able to get it on me really well. And I think it's going to give me like the little snatched look. And this velvet, <clears throat> stretch velvet, I feel like it's going to just snatch me. So the way I need to be snatched because it's January and I'm still trying to make up for what I did the last quarter of the year. I need all the help I can get. In fact, let me order some grub her while I'm on. I don't know why. What that? What made me think of food? Maybe your last time I... Yes, because look. It's about that time. Lord, Auntie Carol, now she's going out of town. You know these people, everybody going to want their ticket. How long you going to be out of town? Okay, let's see. Child. Let me see. Did somebody say something? All right. I don't... Uh, let me look at this. Let me look. Let me look. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to be able to fit this. We're going to see. Okay, so Terrence, I missed this question. Thank you, Terrence. Um, somebody had asked, did you may have answered this, what tension do we put on when doing a basting stitch? I think they, and so I, in terms of the length of my stitch, I use a 5.0 length. I typically don't adjust my tension to answer. Yeah, that. I don't think I adjusted. I, I never touch my tension on my sewing machine ever. I mean, I do, but for, I don't adjust it for uh, knits. I, I, well, no, I don't. It's right now, it's, at, it's still at four. I keep my, in general, I keep my tension at four on four and I do my. Uh, well, let me see. Where's my tension? I have no idea what my tension is. I have no idea. Does 5.75 sound right? I have no idea. Um, it, it, it could be my, my ten, you probably have computerized tension. I do not. I have just, you know, a uh, I have a computerized machine, but you're, 
you have a lot of more bells and whistles on your machine than I do. Yeah, I don't know anything about. We have to. I have to ask Julian because I definitely do not know. I've never touched the tension. When the, I always know when I think about tension, I always think about the serger. So I learned something new today, or if I learned it before, I forgot it. So thank you for asking the question. Whoever did ask it. Okay. okay. Oh, said, oh, you saw it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Lindsay says she rarely adjusts hers. Okay, so we are all clipped. Look, you can even start to see the formation of the dress. And okay, now, he's now let's get in formation. Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, people. Let me just make sure I take this out. Of, I'm not going to do a basting stitch for this. I'm going to do a regular stitch. And because I feel like, if anything, I'm going to take it in yeah so me too only three eighths of an inch seam allowance so worst case i will stitch it you know small and then cut off then cut so again we're doing three eighths of an inch seam allowance start from the bottom stitch it up. make sure your raw edges are lined up auntie Kara, we are doing a body con dress by Lindsay the stitch fit you know one of the nomi designers um, the one that does all the amazing draping. So we're doing her indie pattern. It's called the Serena Wrap Dress. You will probably like this, Auntie Carol. I this will look cute on yeah. This will look cute on you. Your husband would definitely like it. He would be. You like know it. what? Yes, Chocolate Thunder will be all about this. Okay. Yes, he would. He would like Chocolate it. Chocolate Thunder will be it. all about this. This for you. Okay. <laughs> And I'm just going to remind people, those that are interested, I'm going to say it again and again when we special when we try to address this, because that may be when you make your decision, um, that the pattern, if you use the code, let's get social, social is spelled S-E-W-C-I-A-L, all one word, um, you can get 30% off through the end of January. So you can- And is that just on this, is that, Lindsay, is that just on this or is this on all your patterns? Cause there's definitely I want to get one of them tops too. <laughs> did you see the twist top? The twist top is super cute. I didn't. I didn't. Or maybe I did. I cause I, you know, I follow Lindsay, so if she wore it or posted it, then I saw it. She got this super cute um top. Super cute. It is a vibe. Is that like summer. something I can wear on my vacation? Yes, definitely, 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 definitely. Okay, I'm gonna have to. And I've it. seen a lot of people make it. Um, I might have to break my flow fast. I know. I'm like, uh, what is happening? I just buy a full price. I know. All like... right. Auntie Carol, did you did you are you still doing your fast? All right, you about to see me try it on. In a second. No, I'm gonna have to take this in the hip. I can already tell, but hi, peaches. All right, y'all. We are almost at the finish line. Yes, yes, we are. Not your son trying to play you. He said, Mom, we, we, listen. I'm going to order my, my Uber Eats or my um, Grubhub. So by the time it's time, my food will be here, okay? Oh, that's right. I got some vegan soup from Whole Foods, and I'm going to eat that. Oh, Chili. you know what? I just drove by Whole Foods today. I just drove right by. We have this quinoa vegetable soup. And let me tell you, I'm addicted. I am addicted. Y'all will get to see this masterpiece very soon. Drop around. Let me. Oh, bye, D. You can watch the replay. Thanks for coming. Yes, thank you, D. 
We appreciate you. That is top notch, D. Is it? That's top notch? Yeah, top notch. D Ashley. That's okay. my middle name. We have the same middle name. I just spell it a little differently. We are just moving right through. No, I think Kara broke her fast, y'all. What? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to have to pay full price because I've been doing so good. I'm not breaking my fast, but I will be looking at that top because I do want to make it for my vacation. I'll be going on vacation soon. And Lindsay has a new Nomi pattern out. You know what? Her new Nomi pattern will be cute for your um, vacation, too. Oh, I got to go with this day. I got to see it. Hopefully it goes on sale. No, it looks like Lindsay. If you're still here, it's her. If you're new, no, you know, I don't want to assume it's easy. It look easy. Is your new Nomi pattern easy? Because it look easy. No, Lindsay, it's okay. We'll get the other ones. We'll pay for the other ones. It's okay. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, this yeah. Is cute. Let's see. Let us see. All right. Let me take this off. Should I leave my brow on? Take. Let me take my. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get y'all the full. Well, I feel like this dress. You you need. I, you either wear a braless or you have to wear like. I think you can get away with like a bustier or. Um, well, Lindsay is kind of busty too, but I feel like it give it's got that support because at least you know you pay, you know, uh, I think, you know what else we could have did? We could have added like a little bit of elastic to the facing, oh, to make it like cup a little bit, yeah. You can kind of create a. I just feel like I, I feel like when you put the straps on, it's gonna pull it all. That's how I felt. Like I didn't feel like I needed anything extra. Oh yeah. Wait. Hold on. Oh, uh, what is that? You might be right. Yeah, I feel like it snatched you. You know, that was my feeling when I did it. Like you didn't really need. I just tied it over my head really quick. This is cute. Yeah, and just remember, you right. Oh, you already put your straps on? Well, I, I, I kind of just basted them on. Oh. So as predicted, I'm going to have to take some in at the side. Hold on. I'm going to just, I'm going to pull my, hold on. Let me pull my. Oh, I'm a little ashy. She is ashy. All right, this is what it looks like. This is cute. Yes. Okay. Look. You... Yes. So I got on grandma drawers, but here now the back look. I like okay. it. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's giving exactly what it's supposed to give. This is cute. This is cute. Yeah, I like this. I like that. I like this. So I definitely, like I said, I'm gonna have to take it in like right here. All and this is for every single pattern, y'all. I'm gonna have to take it down just a little bit on the sides. But it's giving what it needs to give. I like it. Especially the back. Y'all see that back? Yes, I love it. I know the back is like very sexy. I like it. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's fit. I like that. Oh, don't play with corn. Don't play with me. <laughs> okay. I know it don't match. Uh, do it match? It kind of do match. On don't, Auntie Carol, don't come for me. Don't come for me, Carol. Don't come for me, Carol. So this is. I the know the tie is cute. Right? It, I don't think it's supposed to tie, though. Is it supposed to tie, LaShawn? Supposed to do what? How is the strap? Is, is it a tie strap? What is it? No. The straps get the facing, so they basically get kind of looped in. But so you, so oh. they're gonna go into the sides or to the towards the back. So it is basically like, oh here, I got the the picture up so you can see it right here. 
So if you look at, they are, they are basically, you're going to put them in, stitch them in, and then you're going to put the facing in. And it's, they're going to be like tucked in, sandwiched in between the facing and the inside of the fabric. So it's no tie. It is just kind of sandwiching them in. Okay. I mean, you can you can tie it if you want. That's your business. Yeah, you could. I mean, if you want to. If you wanted to do it, then you could do it. But so if you are doing your ties the traditional way, you're basically going to fold it in half. And you are going to stitch down across the top and down one end. And then you're going to turn it right side out. So right sides together, fold it in half, stitch down the long stitch down the long side and then um, turn it right side out. Well, I need to shave. So I am working on the straps. So you have two straps. So I'll no, take the, back, the back part of the straps, you don't put into the face and right. You stitch that on very last, right? That's the very last step, right? Let me see. It is Oh yeah, so the instructions say seam rip a small hole wide enough to fit in the strap yep. into approximately one inch in from the side seam. Yeah. So Okay, so you do not put it in. That's a thank you for saying. That. Yep, that's what I thought. All right, this is easy. So I'm essentially done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just saying, don't play with Carm. Don't play with Carm. Thank you okay, again for being here. I'm so quick. Okay, I'm almost, I'm this, right behind you. Right behind Auntie you. Auntie Carm, you know this is a knit. You know I slipped. Now, you know, girl. <laughs> Girl. So you, I mean, if you already base stitched yours in at the top, then you ready to put your facing on. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Okay. Now, Auntie Carol, so yes, what I would do in the future, if you are interested, is you can just do a quick little shelf bra. I will fold this under like this, add a piece of elastic right across here. Um, That can give you an extra little bit, a little bit of support. Actually, I might do that. I'm gonna add a little shelf bra stitch in here. here we go. Look. While LaShawn does her strap, I'm gonna create a little shelf bra. Cause that's my business, okay? I can't wait to try to stress on. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little shelf bra real quick. It don't take long. No, it's, that's, a, that's a quick. And you can just it anyway, right? You gotta fold up and finish it. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do that real quick while LaShawn works on her stuff. I have elastic right here. I can just slide right through. Again, not necessary. I'm just doing that because mama got tie ties, okay? Mama has tie ties. Yeah. So if you want to add a shelf bra, that's your business. All right. I am stitching now my straps. Another thing you could put in here, you could use power mesh if you wanted to. That's another option. Yes, that is another option. So if I, I plan to make this in like a metallic knit or, you know, spandex. I will probably use power mesh, um, add some elastic, create a quick little shelf bra using power mesh. That's just an extra layer of support you can create for yourself. I like her new pattern. Her new pattern isn't um, Lindsay's new pattern. Uh, we originally had it fully lined with straps, but had to fix the pattern and didn't work out that way. Anymore. Oh, okay. Um, you're, yep, we're almost done. Diana said, I love uh, Lindsay's new pattern. What's that's not 2032? Huh? You know she got a newer pattern out, Diana. She, Lindsay, what's your new pattern number? It's in the 60s. It's like 20 and 
2060 range. She has a new Nomi pattern out coming up. Like, it's out. It's out already. Hey, Gaynell. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Janelle or Gaynell? Check out Simplicity. It's 2067. Yep. So, yes. Yeah, Lindsay has a new pattern out. It is perfect. It's, you know, it's this early spring pattern, but it, I think it, when I think LaShawn's about to go on vacation, it'd be perfect for a vacation vibe. It's springy. Like, I can see it in, like, a floral. Um, definitely very springy vibes. Yes. Um, it comes in two lengths. Uh, super cute. So that is actually in stores and online now. If, if you want to take advantage, they are having a sale right now on Nomi patterns for $6. So you can go online and grab hers today. So if you have any vacations coming up, it is a good vibe. I think it's classified as easy. Where y'all see Nikki? Where y'all see Nikki? Where's my... Oh, hey, Nikki. Do you see her? I don't see her. Yeah, I see. And she under scenes and such. Yes. Okay. Oh, hey. Yes. So, yeah, go check out Lindsay's new pattern. It's in stores with the rest of the early spring. All right. Um, all right. I'm about to turn my, my straps and then I'm going to. Child, I gotta find some elastic. Oh. I be coming up with these grandiose ideas. Like, girl, you don't even have. You gotta find some what? Oh, elastic. <laughs> Look at here. I got some right here. Look at God. Look at God. Hi, Nikki. I see you, girl. Yes, it is on sale currently at online on um, simplicity.com. They are having a sale, I believe. Know me and some else show. Know me, I think simplicity might be on sale. Some other ones. But know me, I definitely know that. Hi, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, I need to text you. I'm extending the Butterick Baddie Challenge, Nikki. The Butterick Baddie Challenge is getting extended. <laughs> Forgot to text you about that girl. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, these nails is all the way. I gotta get these nails cut down. Girl. I don't I'm, know how you do it. Girl, barely. Have a little, look at that. You see them little tips on there? I was look like, I, I'm channeling my inner Carmen. With them little them nubs. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look, look, hey, look, this is long for me. Can y'all see it, them? Look, can y'all hear that? Oh, look at that. Oh. Yes, the Butterick Challenge is sent it to February 3rd, Nikki. February 3rd. <laughs> Let me get my Luke Turner because this is saying get somebody else to do it. And I'm saying, please. So I'm just feeding this through real quick. I'm my shady. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't my nails a little bit longer than that now. I was like, I told the person, I said, give me a little tip, a little edge. Is that what you said? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that's perfect. And it's grown out now. So I'm getting cut back down. Because this is I've I done had so many misspellings of words when I'm typing. I was like, this is I gotta get used to it. Thank like, you all for being here. We appreciate you all being yes, here so yes. much. This is fun. LaShawn is always looking for guests, right, LaShawn? Yeah, always, right. If you want to join, don't be afraid. We're doing this together. And LaShawn going to listen. It ain't going to be a reckless live like my live. She is going to <laughs> give you directions, okay? She ain't going to be like me, like, y'all, figure it out <laughs> while I were done. She ain't going to do that to y'all like I be doing that to y'all. <laughs> she not going to do that to y'all because I definitely I mean, don't be doing that. Oh, why don't I? <laughs> I'm like, figure it out. <laughs> All right, make yeah. it enough. Like the mom and Friday, make it enough. <laughs> 
make it enough. Y'all will be all right. Um, hi, Alicia. She is on YouTube. And are you still on Instagram? I've never been on Instagram. I'm sorry. Not Instagram. Lord. Alicia, hi. She's on YouTube. Alicia who? Is that my Alicia? Alicia6786 love. You remember Alicia? You probably see her more. Than I Where did. you? I don't see her. She's on Instagram. Oh, hey, Alicia. Sorry, she's, she's on, on TikTok. TikTok. She's on TikTok. She's on TikTok. She's on TikTok. TikTok. She's on TikTok. Alicia, my nighttime crew. Alicia, part of my nighttime crew. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it's almost nighttime, even though we finish it early. <laughs> Listen, we out of here. I know. These, look, I started to do, ooh, let me see. I started to do my straps ahead of time because I the straps always, no matter what straps I do, they always give me a hard time. And I have a loop turner, and I have all kinds of little things, but it's nothing like the safety pin what yeah i used the safety pin to get it out that's like my fastest way to get it out everything else just take too long oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely all that box i bought all them other little contraptions and they just don't be doing right for, by me yeah, i agree and I so agree. It's like, just go back to the old-fashioned safety pin patient safety pin ain't never done me dirty right that's what i'm saying like it's nothing like the old school safety pin. All right. So um, what I'm doing is all right, here we I'm go. Down facing up. one. So Alicia said, Carmen. I'm here. I'm here. I see her. Oh, you see her. Okay. I didn't know you was back. Okay. Hey, um, it is a garment. It's a garment challenge. See, it's not a, a butterick. It's, it's the butterick baddie challenge. Is a garment challenge, not a bag challenge. But the the B, the Black History Month one will be a. Uh, you can do either, but this one, this go around, is a garment challenge only because we have points to prove. You can make a bag look cute. That ain't hard. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Butter a challenge, it is a that that is not hard. You could do no, it. No, the I mean, but T's work is impeccable. If y'all are not following T's customs, she does phenomenal. Yeah, she at? on Facebook, I mean YouTube. She's on she's on TikTok and she is on um what is she called? What is it? T's customs. I feel like I might be. She's she's amazing. Like her should be. Her Thank stuff is on you. another level. Thank you, D. Oh man, I just hey messed up. Yeah, this is just me blow drying it out. I need to um I'm getting it done next week. A little bit of curl in it. Are you gonna wear curly or straight to the um practice? I think I'm gonna wear it curly. Not curly like naturally curly, but curly like a curl. I gotta see what it's giving with this dress. No, I'm wearing. I, this I dress. love it. You ain't. You know, I love a good straight bob. Like I live for a straight bob. So <laughs> don't ask me, cause I'm be like, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see what's. Cause part of me feels like I should wear it up. This dress is making me feel like it should be uh, up to you. But we'll see. T, you know, listen, T, you should know me well enough to know I ain't, listen, I don't say things I don't mean, and you do do amazing work. Like, I want to see more from you in 2024. Uh, Where is she at? Oh, she, she is. is. Like, she's, she, she is mainly on, I mean, I see T on Instagram, too. Um, But TikTok, I met her on TikTok, and uh, the girls work, a sh like, she does stuff with I not not resin but she does stuff with sublimation which I like I love to see the girlies uh mixed mediums more and um she does some some cool like her bag work her construction work is amazing but she also does some cool things with sublimation um let me make sure I'm follow yeah tease custom she's on you see her on here but make sure you follow I'll send her your her you her page afterwards 
I'm definitely gonna probably it's a few bad girlies that um I want to commission stuff from this year. Um and T is one of them. Nikki, of course, listen, if she'll make time for me. <laughs> Nikki need to fit me in. Nikki need to make me want a bowler bag. That's what I need Nikki to make. I'm gonna commission Nikki from a bowler bag if you're here. You bowl? No, it's a it's a bag. It's a it's the shape of a bag. Not do I bowl. Not do I bowl. It well, is I a do style. Bowl. It is a style. Uh, not sorry. you shaming me. Not you shaming me. Y'all see that? Do I bowl? Y'all see that shady shit? Ooh. Well, I, I, I never hear you talk about bowling. Because I don't bowl. It's a it's a style of a bag. It's you see that shit? LaShawn, y'all think she all sweet. Y'all think LaShawn is sweet. What? Think I was, that was a question. That was just a question. Oh, right? hell no. Get me out of here. Y'all see the next time I come on this mother <laughs> ever. Oh, no, she didn't, y'all. Well, that was a question. I, I never heard you talk about bowling, so I was like, oh, you bowl? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a style of stuff. Do you go? Do you fly planes? Because you be wearing flight jackets. Do you fly planes? <laughs> Let me I'll think of something play. else. Let me think of no I'll bowl. Shit. <laughs> what what other style of garment? Y'all drop some names of garment types that we wear that we don't necessarily like. You don't fly planes, but we wear bomber jackets and flight jackets. <laughs> we do, we do, we do, we do. Oh my god, not <laughs> poor LaShawn. What about poor Carmen? Ah she came <laughs> for my neck and y'all allowed it. Woo! No, she did it. Yeah, do you, look. Do you bowl? I don't know. I, I'm horrible at bowling. Actually, I'm pretty bad. I think I'm I the love worst. bowling, and I'm actually pretty good at it. That's why. Let I was me like, tell you. Can you bowl? No. You can bowl with me, and we can win. No, I can't because yeah, I. Can't, let me tell you how bad I bowl. Have you ever bowled a zero? No, never. I I have. I have. Dang. So you mean every ball was a gutter ball? Listen. I have bowled a zero. No, you need to do uh what is it where you put the little rails up? Um a motor, right? Do you you wear motor jackets? Do you do you um drive motorcycles? I've been on one, not 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 driving though. I've been and on you live in New York, y'all right there by the Harley Davidson factory. I know. Never... I've been on a a very good friend of mine has a motorcycle, and let me tell you, he I got on there with him and I've I haven't been on one since. Yeah, I've been on one maybe twice. I've been on a motorcycle twice in my life, and I'm never. Um, never again. Like I, I refuse. I cannot get this to turn. This is my only challenge: is getting these to turn. So, come on, let's do it. When you start trying to pull it through your teeth, you know you got a problem. Right. It's the Nikki said it's the nails. I know it definitely is the nails. Thank you. Because if it weren't for these nails, I would have been had it done. Well, I'm done. My my facing is almost done. So <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And I got my shelf brought in. What you what you saying? And my shelf brought in. All right. I feel like I got it. That you know what them, those darts that they added make a uh -huh. huge. Difference. You think they make a difference? Yeah, you can kind. Of, it kind of really provides a nice little cup. Yeah. I will press it like by. So a Nikki's gonna make my bowler bag. Yep. You know what? Thank you, Lindsay, because I'm telling you, I, I it's going through now, but I was struggling. Ciao. It's coming through. Um, D, yeah, I thank you. I love this color. I will never color my hair again. Although I am thinking about at my next appointment getting a toner in just because I was saying this earlier, like I got a little bit of you. I couldn't really see it that much before when I had my little tips that were brown. But now you can really see it because it's only in this front part that it's like a little yellowish. And all the purple shampoo in the world is not helping so i don't know if toner is going to help but i'm gonna try it out okay look straps are done that was like a 20 minute ordeal but we have finally conquered the task the strap challenge okay 
So let me grab the dress and we're going to base the straps to the front bodice. We get ready to do that. I'm going to catch up with Gar Carmen. So we're going to base the straps to the front. And let me just see. Oh, let me turn my dress inside out. I think I'm turning it, my dress inside out. Nikki, um, um, I mean, LaShawn, Nikki said you helping her embrace her gray. I don't um, listen, if I was gray on purpose, you know, I'd be wearing, making wigs that color on purpose. I'm about to wait. You know, I'm about to do get my platinum wig done tomorrow. I um I meet so many people that ask me, is that your real hair color? I'm like, yeah. It is. I'm two years and two years. <clears throat> okay, so let me just say you're gonna base the straps down to the front bodice with right sides together. And then you're going to leave the other ends of the strap free. So you're basically putting the straps. Let me just turn it this side out for those that might be following along. And then later, there is like, if you look across the top of the dress, it's straight across. And then there's kind of like a little bit of like a point before it curves down. You are going to put the strap in right at the edge before you right before you get to that point so right in the on the inside of this the top part so i'm just clipping it and then i'm going to do a quick basting stitch down to stitch that down okay And make sure when you do that basting stitch at the, for the straps that you put it in the seam allowance because you don't want it to stick out when you put your facing Ooh, on. It look good. Oh my God. Oh my God, it looks so good. <laughs> look at it, look at this, look at this um, show okay. Oh, oh right. listen, this is about to be my go-to for the summer, okay? Hot girl summer is loading, oh, baby. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, don't play with car. Don't play with car. Don't play with Carm. Oh my God. Y'all are going to be so jealous. <laughs> Woo! All right. Okay, Don't play so with once Carm. That... Don't play with Carm. So you already put your facing on. You put your. You are just all over this. Okay. That's because I just didn't want to listen. I don't never want to embarrass myself on somebody else's life. <laughs> never. That would never happen, Carl. I mean, yeah, because I'd be on it. <laughs> okay. Now we are putting our facing on. This is our facing, and you are literally laying it. Uh, let's see. Place the facing over the back of the dress. Yep, that's what I have. Over the back of the dress, you're sandwiching the st straps in. And it's going to be, the front facing is going to be right, basically right sides together. So placing that facing on the back of the dress, right sides facing. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, my God. And then you are going to sew the facing from the bottom of one side all the way up around um, to the other side. And don't forget to put the facing onto your seam allowance. You got that, right? Yes, definitely. Because it looks really clean when you do it that way. Because you see it? Let me see. The yeah. facing 
that's attached to the side seam. You know that, right? Yes. Okay. Right. He, right. So you're going from the side all the way around up the top and all the way to the other side. Oh, Lindsay, girl, you did your big one with this one, baby. Yes. Lindsay, you did your thing, girl. I'm going to do this. I, let's show, what you doing tonight? Don't you want to make another one? You make it another one. Yeah, I got not on live, not on live, y'all. Don't. Oh yeah, you mean just after? Yeah. This is. I, have not, I got the original fabric I was going to use. I just switched it out because I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear this to frock tails. So I decided to use this one. But I have not. You not, Lindsay? Have you made this in a faux leather yet? Oh shoot! And I this actually way. had another. Oh yeah, I might make this. Yeah, this would eat in like a faux leather, like a good like. Oh yeah. Mm, and I have one over there too, because again, I am fasting, fabric fasting. This would eat in a faux leather. This would eat. Yeah, yeah I, I, I might do it. See now. Yeah, faux leather is it. I was thinking, am I done for the night? Oh, okay, Julian. I'm a calm. Just Where's Julian? Clear. Julian's in the comments. Oh, hey, Julian. Yeah, this would eat in a full leather. Yeah. This would be real, like, oh, this would be, oh, the girls, the girls will girl. And then, oh, oh. It's a quick sew, too. So we could literally. Oh, yeah. I might really, how long is this fast? How long do I have to do this fucking fast? We are done January 31st. No, it's technically over the, the 3rd. Of what? Of I've February. Since the first. No, it's technically done. The, the, I'm. A, it's going to be done on the first for me. I've been fasting since the first. I have not bought any fabric at all. I didn't buy fabric, but I. Oh no, I did buy fabric. I did buy. Fabric. I haven't bought because I because I bought everything ahead of time. So that's why I was. I I had a plan and I stuck to it. All right, Julian, what platform are you going live on? Just let us know. And I will in the background cutting out. Uh I gotta go. So I gotta go. I'm going on live tomorrow to do the me means. Oh no, this is Lynn Lindsay. Girl, you did it. You did it. You did it. You won. She won. Yeah. Ah. This is so cute. I can't wait. I'm almost done. I know he DM'd me and I told him I'm on a fast, Michael. Did he DM you? Because I don't appreciate if he DM'd you because I that won't make me feel as special. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. I, that won't make me feel special if he DM'd you. Did he DM you? I know that's right, Rosalind. You know what? I didn't use any of my 20%. Because remember, Miss Alethea allows for 20%. I didn't use none of my, I didn't, I use a hundred percent fasted. So I am still allotted 20% that I'm allowed to use that I did not use. Okay, here we go. I'm just showing y'all what I did. This is my facing, right side of my facing, right side of my dress. So they're facing each other. Here's my straps. Only one side is strapped in. Now I'm about to so all the way around and then i'll be back yeah this is it y'all this is it this is cute this is cute she is cute yeah. oh you are you putting oh, i was gonna say you putting it on no i'm gonna wait i mean i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna stitch down the sides a little bit more and the spaces where not new okay yeah. i'm gonna wait to stitch my uh well, I can baste it in. I can baste the bag. I'll baste in the back straps. But y'all, when I tell you she is cute, when I tell you she is cute, because with the straps, you always got to kind of like play with that a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take it in a little bit more at the side, but yo, this is, oh my God. When I tell y'all, y'all need to add this to your wardrobe. Are you taking it in at the hip area? Yes. I don't have no hips. Okay. Anymore. I, right, Risha, I can't go in the back. I can't 
can't go into the fabric store. So I'm going to base it down at the sides where I think I should because I don't, you know, whatever. I don't feel like taking it on. So I'm going to base it down at the sides. Because I'm real. Like, even with negative ease, like, I... I appreciate them putting that curve in because there's a lot more curvy girls in the world than straight up and down girls like me. Um, but I know exactly like you see what that curve is. Yeah, I ain't got none of that. I just I typically always just immediately took that out because just go it's straight a, down. It's a stretch in the place. Yeah, I yeah. Got that. So I'm gonna base that real quick. Huh? So I'm gonna base that real quick. Um. Hey, Tajiri. You ain't gonna need a strap, Nikki. We and you got the same um look. We got the same front. All right, so I'm gonna just go down the side. Where I know I don't, I don't need all that hit. You just gonna go straight down. Again, it's a basin stitch just for a picture. But this is more than a wearable muslin. Because at first I was just going to approach this like, oh, this is a wearable muslin. Yeah, nah. I can wear this. I can wear this outside. We outside. Look at that. And y'all, I think I got this fabric for like literally $2 a yard. <laughs> this fabric is $2 a yard fabric, okay? <laughs> We got this fabric for two dollars a yard. <laughs> hey, Tigeri. Hey, Tigeri. Listen, I got. I'm gonna show you on my bag. My bag got rolls in it too, but I embrace my rolls. Listen, queen. Who got time to be worried about all that old other stuff? Okay. <laughs> my bag got rolls too, sis. My bag got rolls too. And I'm, I make no apologies for that. So did you already you did you base your um your strap in yet? Be on um no, not the bag. The other end of the strap? No, cuz I you know, number you one think I'm it's thinking, about what? Tying it around the neck. Yes, I'm thinking about keeping it as a halter. I'm a base it. That's going to take 2 seconds though. So what's the rules for the base then? They said do it from where? Okay, so ba it says basically that you are going to turn it right side out, pull the facing down, press the seams, and, and then it says right at, so let me explain it the way it explains it on here, then I'll show you. It says, seam rip a small hole wide enough to fit See if it says okay okay wide enough to fit the strap into approximately one inch from the side seam in the top of the twist piece so this is the side seam here this is the side seam one inch up from the side seam i think that's right no one is it one inch up or one inch down let me see um so we had a side seam and we're going over one From the inch. side seam. I think, let me just look at this picture because it says it's in the twist. So it's going to be right here down on the twist part of it. So this is the twist down here. This is the front bodice. So one inch from the side seam. Okay. So like. Yeah, I got it. Basically like right here. So I got my little trusty. Here, y'all, the quilting girl should be proud of me. I got my quilting. Look, all that stuff y'all be having going on. So measuring over. An oh, inch. yeah. So they said basically you're going to do a seam rip, but then you need to try it on to make sure that you're before you permanently. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm doing that. I'm just going to base it on real quick. And I am going. Did you put your face in on? Yep, my facing is on. So facing is on. I didn't press it down, but I'll do that later. Cause I might do a base. I mean, I might do a uh, understitch.
You see me, Nikki? You see me with my um you see me with my quilting ruler? This is one of the ones that fell off the truck. Hey Alicia. This is one of the ones that fell off the truck, girl. <laughs> you know, thank child. Shout out to Chosen. Shout out to Chosen. <laughs> hey, Natasha. Yes, I think I'm going to try it on, like you said before, like this. And then I will decide, I will see where how much strap I need and make a marking and then put it in there before okay. I see it. So, and then I'm going to do the, I'll do the hem at the bottom once I figure out how much, if any of that I need to take off. So I'm going to go try, when you're ready, I'm, I'm ready to try it on. Me too. What shoes are you putting on? Oh, some heels. See, I know. I knew who I was going to lie with. I don't have no heels with me, but I'm going to find some heels. I'll be back. I'm trying it on. I don't have a commercial for y'all, but... <laughs> Yeah, Alicia, I don't know why you ain't come over here in the first place. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, I lost it. All right, y'all. I'm a, Let me find some heels, because you know LaShawn going to come up in here with some. I should have had my heels ready. Messing around with her. Messing around with LaShawn, uh, but I didn't have my heels ready. But I'm going to get ready in a second. Lord. Let me get my heels ready. Let me get my heels ready up in here. Let me get my heels ready. Okay. Ah! What color heel should I wear? Y'all got any suggestions in the house? What color heel should I throw on? Not that I got many options, but I'll look for some. Girl, I can't see a damn thing. Hold on. You know, where's my little safety pin? That's what I need. Cause it's right here. I need a safety pin. Where's the safety pin, girlies? <laughs> where's my safety pin, girlies? At? <laughs> Cause just when I'm trying to be done, they want to act up. Let me find some hills. Let me find some hills. Listen, when you, my lives, I be having commercials, Dickie. That's what she was talking about. I, I have commercials, okay? Your girl has commercials. <laughs> I be having my commercials, right? All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me, let me, let me get some hills on. Um, Those aren't really cute. Let me find some hills. Okay, it's giving me the fit. So here it is. This is the dress. Here is the back, the twist in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move up. So I just need to make an adjustment for my strap. And I think that will pull everything down, but I love it. I feel like it is super cute. It fits great. It sucks me in. And I just need to figure out the strap. And I feel like I don't need to take anything off of the strap. Maybe very little. Give some room for the stretch. But yeah, I do like the darts. I didn't put any darts in my original one that I had um, created, but I do like the darts. I definitely feel like it gives a more fitted look on the sides, around the, the bodice area. And then, I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see the bottom of it, but this is a faux just for those that are 
not sure this is a faux. Let me see if I go about this one. Okay. No. So this okay. is faux suede. Here goes some. Here, here, here goes some. We oh, we gonna make it. Work. Oh, I love those. I'm gonna give y'all a look. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a full look. Yeah. Even though I'm a little ashy, so I'm just gonna tie mine around the neck for right now. But I do I do plan on putting them in the straps, and I'm gonna get the. How's your support? Oh, I feel like the support is right. It's perfect. I do like the darts, um, which I didn't put them in the other dress that I, the one I made that I tested. I didn't have darts. Although, again, that's a different fabric. So I had, it fit me tight around this area. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. I like the back. I like the way it comes up on the back. So I don't think I'm going to have to take anything off my straps. I think my straps are going to be the right length. Um, you definitely do have this option to go around the neck. I'm not doing that with mine. I'm, I am going to fix it, but I could see how you could leave it that way and totally it looks fine. But I'm going to put oh, I like cute. it. So I, I did like take it in on the side. Oh, this is cute. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Definitely it. I'm going to, even though I am wearing this to frock tails, I am going to take pictures in it before frock tails so that you can get the full look and like i said Lindsay has given us a discount code 30 percent off let's get social um use that code you have until january 31st which is one two three four five days you have five days ah! to this dress pattern this pattern 30 percent off let's get social gotta make this dress it is oh my literally God. you can do this dress in two hours 100 percent this is how much I don't wear heels. <laughs> ah! I, look, I, I love those heels. Those are super cute. This is one. This is my young hot girl of, heels. The heels definitely. Ah! It all. Okay. Okay. I might Yo. make a little suede bag with my scrap fabric. And oh, then yeah. pull some of the back. Twist it back. And this is with no bra again. I'm I'm probably going all my patterns. Oh, said, this is cute. Oh yeah, that's oh that is cute. I so, know. Ooh. I love those shoes. Those shoes. Oh, look at them with the tassels. You showing off. Ah! Yes, this is, this is cute. Look at it. Look, it gave you a whole body. So I did take it right to the side. Give me a whole body view, but hopefully y'all can see. This I love it. This is so super cute. I definitely feel like I need an updo though for it. Maybe like a little bit of hanging hang time. No, I feel like the bob. It's a bob. Yes, I think it is perfect for the bob. Y'all think? think bob or y'all think up with a little hang time in the front? Oh, it's giving Jessica Rabbit. Okay, it is giving Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> super, super cute. I definitely love it. See, Anthony's like good work. See, we were not on for two hours, two more hours. Thanks, Neff. So I did. I do feel like the um, I should have made the 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 elastic. I did add elastic here. I uh -huh. should have made it tighter. So and you, I do feel you, like I want. I might take in this a little bit more. Okay. At the darts, but. So Fab GMA Forbes said, I got my pattern and I'm sewing my dress as we speak. Both of you look very nice. Great job. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you. you. Please tag us when you make your dress. You want to see it. We want to so see it. We want to see it. Um, hey, Brooklyn Timmy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's the back. Lindsay, Lindsay, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful pattern, beginner friendly. I hope a lot of people make it. Oh, also tag Lindsay. Yes, thank you, Lindsay. If you share, tag Lindsay. She loves to see when we make her um, her patterns. Please tag Lindsay. Please tag me. Please tag Carmen. We want to see yes. you. Okay? 
And of course, if you have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to reach out. We want to see you make your dressing. We want you to have a great time making it. Oh, well, I need to shave. Don't even look at that. But no, this is that. This is busty girl friendly, y'all. This is busty girl friendly. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. How? Did, I didn't know you were sewing along. How are you doing? Where are you at? Are you? Is it going smoothly for you? Do you need any help? Oh, so um, Lindsay said sometimes understitching can stretch the neckline out because you're using that stretchy. Yes, I did use the. Um, I did use a little. I don't know if I used enough uh, interface, but I did use a little under. And I didn't understitch it. I didn't understitch this. You didn't understitch that. Okay, yeah. It's cool. I'm. A, I just. I really. I just feel like I didn't do enough with the dart. So I'm gonna um take it in a little bit more at each. Just a little bit. It's just a tad bit more on the um because it's open. So I still can access the dart. So I am yeah. going to go in and uh, take the dart. Oh, yeah, okay. that's right. You sure can. You definitely can. Yeah. Um, Dang, well, sure, this was quick for one of your lives. <laughs> I, who you tell? You know I'm the slow sewist. <laughs> Look, I'm okay with that. Look, that's not a bad word to me. I'm okay with it. Um, but, yeah, I'm very happy with this. So when, when I show you the final look, what did you do? You based it your straps in. I right? did. I based it in there. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to be, I need to just figure out how much because I like mine to fit up. Yeah. So I need to um, figure out how, where I need them to be. I don't think I need to cut anything based on what I'm seeing here. I nah. feel like it's going to pull the, the, it's gonna give me everything. Put them straps in. They're going to stretch down. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. That's going to be beautiful right there. Boom. Look at that. It's something about having that strap go to your back that just. It, let's, this uh, the, the back is it. The back, the is, back like, is. I'm telling you, the back is it. It's like. That's and it's camouflaging all my little back fat. Yo, I got a lot of, I got a lot of back fat. I, unapologetically, but I got back fat. This is and, just to give you an idea what it looks like when the straps are in. Look at that. It's something about that strap that is going to the back that just. Does it for me? I need the back strap. Listen, I'm definitely gonna. Y'all see that? Y'all see that, ladies? Y'all, y'all. If you got a man, if you don't have a man, this this is one of them. Hello, hello. It's giving Robin Gibbons from like the '90s. If you know, you know. Yeah, I'm aging myself. It's very Robin Gibbons, Eartha Kish, Eartha Kitt ish. Look, look. Yes. So, la la. The thirty percent off coupon is Let's Get Social. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna type it into the chat real quick. Thank you. It is. It's giving. Listen, you can't tell me I'm not Eartha Kid, okay? That's the discount code to get 30% off of this dress through January 31st. If you make the dress, again, do not hesitate to. Um, do not hesitate to, to ask us if you have any questions, but the instructions are like. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They are really good. Like everything you need is in these instructions. They really did a great job um, putting the instructions together. So, but if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Thank you, Roslyn. Thank you, Belinda. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, again, tag Carmen, tag me, tag Lindsay. We want to see you make it. We love it. And, and stitch. Yes. And right. So Lindsay is the stay stitch. No, no, no. No, Lindsay no. I'm sorry. Stitch fits, stitch fits. Lord. <laughs> yes. The stitch fits on all platforms, right, Lindsay? Except for YouTube. You're showing up as Lindsay. But I thought I tagged you in something. And then the pattern company is Stay Stitch Pattern Co. So the Stitch Fits or and Stay Stitch Pattern Co. And you will see it because I tagged it on things, but I'll tag it again. I will tag it again just so you can, if you're looking for it. Um, but thank you so much, Lindsay. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And we will see you all. What is what's coming up next for Black Sun Network? What's next? Uh, um, Nikki, it's tomorrow. Bad Girly Brunch is tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on TikTok. Yay. So see you all then.
Yep. Bye, everyone. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you all for joining. We appreciate you to the fullest. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. Bye.